Ah, <sighs> just much since she. Time for a little bit of this TCG challenges. Simple stuff. Okay. And those rewards. Okay. Well, for one thing, I can do a quick roll on standard. I'll do that real quick. Second. Let's do that real quick. This took me to 77. Um, 77 pity, I believe. Let me just check. Should be in a good space. 77, okay. It's blue faint. Banner and anything. Oh, there we go. Let's see what we got. This is... Oh, another... Touching Constellation. I think that's C3. I'll take it. Okay, cool. So at 77, we got another Cutching. 77 on 619, 24. Fair enough. Won't complain about that. It does mean that I believe that because Chi Chi, I've got it. C4. I know that I've gotten Gene at C5. It's decent. Just check to see where my standards are, because Tina is at C1, D is at C0, but new ones don't count in the same kind of way. Is that, yeah, C1. Kind of wish I had a bit more on D Luke. Interesting enough kit that I'd like to honestly run him a bit more. I don't know, but if he'd be with Xian Yun, then that wouldn't really be relevant anyway. Well, whatever. Okay. Then Jean's at C5, if I recall correctly. And then past that, you've got Mona at... Oh yeah, Mona's also only at C1, but Chi Chi's at... Just C... Yeah, C4, C4. And I've thought about in the past whether uh, there might be sort of resurrection mechanic in Nalan based on the chapter name that might end up making, I don't know, Jean and, I mean, Chi Chi C6 and Barber C6 actually good to have. Be funny, and I severely doubt it, but it would be funny. Okay, then. Okay. In that case... What do I got up right now? Hmm. Okay. Condense a little bit of my resin. Do that real quick. Cool. And got our dailies to do for one. Hmm. Emergency. I think the TCG special mode should also be on right now, besides just the challenges. So that'll be nice. Gotta go over or take these guys out. Hmm. Okay. So the question is... I'd like to use Nahida for ley lines right now. Big thing is that I want to keep stuff else and for in the party because of how... Well, for friendship experience. Okay, and there we go. Simple enough. Good old Scoured Atlas. Hmm. And we have this one about Journalist and Tainted Hydro Phantasms, and I could just send out Chlorind against them. That would be no problem at all. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Rainbow Rose Seed, and... Keep on looking. Decent enough. Over here, okay. Hmm. I really do wonder what the architecture in that one will, work, will look like in a concrete sense. We haven't seen all that much. 
seen some <laughs> wooden platforms on the sides of cliffs and some graffiti, but that's really about it. Okay, cool, and thanks. Alright, should be fine. Alright, thank you. Ooh, but I- oh, right. That was silly. Just getting stuck in the water by charging out into it. And the last one would be- oh, I didn't know there was a commission like that one underwater. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And over this way, and... Take out some of you. Dagger in the water, which is up over here, I think. Yeah, right over this way. Alright. Go and grab some of you. Hello there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Just send the boy over this way. And it should get them all. Nice. Okay. This one is going to be this one, and then we'll be chilling. Mm. Also, the 10 star order from catching there was two more rolls. So now we have 43 that we cash in if we want to just use star glitter. So right now I'm at 150 plus 143, so 193. That should be more than enough to guarantee Sigwin, really, no matter what happens, which is nice. Okay, then. Alright. Hello, Winoria. Mechafish again. Hellpart again. Hogwild for whatever reason. Put some fish fry. Bring up the dive suit. Won't attack me. Terrifying. Floating in the water. Hold my dive suit. Possible. Won't distribute them for the time being. Shallow or deep. But the shallow can do right now. A can of fry. Shallow waters to place the fish fry. And picks surviving in the waters. Hmm. Alright then. Go and grab a few of you. Thank you. And where are the rest? Found one of the locations already, quite quickly. Then... Oh, wait, what? Okay. To get really, really close. Kind of weird. The last one should be over that way. Thank you. Cool. Go back. I suppose I'll just do a bit... Actually, I could... Do a couple of talent run domains real quick. Okay, cool. There we go, there we go. Hope the fish will grow up safely. Many species of fry. Consistently for the region. Clear up the mecha fish. Help you restore the environment. Long form port. Dead environment. Won't let you stop me again. Okay. Domestie. It's all about. Well, we can mine a bit in a bit. First, we should collect our comms rewards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big question then is... Huh. First, I do want to go here real quick. A couple of order books. Let me see. Hydro Crystal Fly. Hydro Crystal Fly. Then, and then, and then. Gotta be one more, right? Oh, it's went over that way. Just did not see it. It's nice that it seemed to take a bit longer to disappear in the water, which I suppose makes sense, because... I don't know, maybe it's more comforting? Hmm. Okay. Of life, though. Okay, over there, and. Thanks, thanks. Got the dip. Down you, and. Oh, right! Forgot that 
Yeah. Let's have that. Help us. Cool. Okay. Depleted my energy while doing my dailies first. Well, alright. It is what it is. <laughs> Let's run this one more time and then it'll be time to go to Abyss. Alright. Some house over here. Let's shoot and. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? I'm gonna pretend that didn't just happen. Thank you very much and take you down like this. Should. Yep. That's yeah, nice thing that. Oh, wait. What? Never mind. Weird. Thanks. Okay. It is quite nice how much Corrine can just heal herself. Yeah. It's wherever, whenever, as long as she's got her skill active, she can just almost entirely restore her HP. Hmm. That means. Well, Fury Furina and Sigwin are on next, but Sigwin won't be out during duration of the stream event. And on top of that, Furina, Alhaitham, and Korand already have good teams I can run here in Abyss. That said, I'm not sure how well they'll be suited to the current lineup. I was looking at some people talking about the current Abyss, and they said that Venti was actually good for this one, which is interesting because, quite frankly, it's been a while since Venti was good, because when Venti is good, he trivializes the whole thing. So most Abysses have been sort of anti-Venti for many, many long years, and yet we got a will roll and I couldn't get. To be fair, it's not as if I really need need all the items here. Eh, it is what it is. So the question is, eh, I could go for a new battle pass weapon, but I don't think any of the characters, because the using would really benefit. Because I guess I could get another refine for Wolf Fang right now. Big thing about that is that it's already quite strong, and I feel like I might want to level up another one of the new weapons, like Ballad of the Fjords. That EM bonus is going to get a bit higher and stronger if I do that, like that. And we got 36 last time, so now we have E-Skill. Dealt by normals, increased by 20%, and both Alhaitham and Corrin would get a lot out of that. I guess the question is, what is the final four like, and would... Okay, that's something you want to run quick and on. Other than Animo, Pyro, but really make those work together but oh oh felon was flames that i'm not sure how i feel about that i uh, feel like furina could maybe work there depending on how fast i clear the other parts but corin's not going to be amazing for that is the thing i i don't know so the question is whether furina or alhaitham would be better for that. I'm gonna try the Corin team and just see how it does. Then on the second half, and Bubbler Seahorse versus I... Oh, hello, Coffee. How are you doing? Okay, so actually I think I'm gonna have to try to run the Ohitham team on the second half and the Corin Furina Baiju official team on the first, especially since... It might do a bit better against Kanki, because Corian team is a bit more single target focused. And this is probably going to be a bit more single target focused. I'm doing alright. I'm excited for the Elden Ring DLC tomorrow, but I realize that I'm probably going to need to do a very short Genshin stream in the morning before Elden Ring in the evening. Because the current Genshin event only lasts until Sunday, and I've got the entire week planned out for Elden Ring because it's big and new. Oh, someone wants to join. I wonder what they want. Hello there. Hello, what would you like? Hello. You're on stream. By the way, what would you like? Need any help? Any specialties? I'm just chilling. I'm gonna sit around for a bit. Got the Arlequino and the Nuviet. Oh, and right, right, because the Core Lapis. I'm excited for it. 
Burr. Issue is, is I can't do Abyss right now. Oh, wait. Can I do Abyss while they're taking my Corlapis? Let's just see. I hope it doesn't kick them out. If so, I apologize. But I'm going to try running Cora into all Hytham and Furina in it because they're on banner right now. It might be a little silly because of the way the Hydro works. The big thing right now is that someone came to borrow some Core Lapis. And I'm not sure. I think I can go in Abyss without kicking them out. Did let me. That's the question is whether they'll dip or not. Be funny if I could summon them for co op Abyss or something. I know that is not going to happen. Electro and Hydro damage bonus. And wait, wait, wait. Oh no, I have to start there. If it kicks them out, I'm going to feel really, really bad about myself. So the question right now is, who should I put on where? Probably... Well, none of them have Pyro on the team, but the question is, who's going to deal more Hydro... I mean, more Hydro damage, I suppose. I think yeah, Farina, Banju, second half. Then, especially since it matches the Usia with the Usia. I mean, the Usi with the Numa and the lack of any RK on the other team with, well, the lack of RK. So right, it would be Furina, Baiju, Official, Official, Corinne. No, that was second half. Furina, Furina, Baiju, Official, Corinne. And that's a strong team. This is a good, fun team comp. And the other team would be my standard. Elon, Nahida, I'll hype them comp. And there we go. It's time to let loose. Shouldn't be too bad. And, oh yeah, they still are just collecting Core Lapis. I don't need to worry. It's still letting me use my entire team here, too. I guess the question is, if they say something, maybe I will take notice. Oh, okay, let's... Do that. Okay, I got everything back. I was a little worried. Should be able to do this. And come on, come on. And where are you? Thanks. And just go over immediately. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, hi, them. It's still so busted. Gotta love Dendro. We just put them out. And do it like this. Send Baju through. Put you down. And ooh, I. That was tough. No problem at all. I, oh, they're already gone. Okay, cool. I guess they didn't even need all that much. Well, I guess we're going to maintain the co-op instance for no reason at all. So the big question is... It would probably prevent me from... <sighs> pausing completely. Wait, can I pause? No, I can still pause that correctly. Yeah, Abyss really is just weird. Well, you know, I'm not complaining. This is better than the alternative. Okay, let's take that. Get that back down and break the shield. Well, we didn't need to do that, did we? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And just cool, cool. Take you out and where is? Hyper Bloom is still such a busted reaction. Again, I'm not complaining, but it's still incredibly funny. Okay, let's just... Big Run's a good deal if you want your shield, and... Alright. How much did any of that deal? Oh, well, she does not have her burst ready right now, but we'll live. We'll live. And, cool. Thank you, and alright. Oh, but we can just let them take this down. Okay, cool, and ooh, alright, and who did the Hyper Womb hit? Well, claim victory again. The question really is just, what will 412 be like with this team? It was not made specifically to fight the Pyroactors. There is a very good chance that it's just an incredibly poor matchup. We'll see. Thank you, and okay, which means we have a chance to put them back on here. Thank you, cool. Thanks, alright. Oh, that was almost death for Shinobu. Luckily, we have that consolation on our hands. Take you down, and oh my goodness. Wolfang and all hyphen is actually just a dirty. That said, I might actually want to go in and get an upgrade if the team doesn't work all that well, because more Wolfang might make a difference. We're gonna have to see about that one. 
Thank you, thank you. Put that down and... Oh, but, right. Yeah, that is the issue with using Baju on this team, that sometimes you end up clearing more of your own bond of life than you might like. More often than not, depending on your speed and the timing. So which and where? Uh, the Tendro. The big thing is that I'm wondering about the damage of the team against that Dendro Spectre. I think Yoan would still be fine against it. Yeah, I'm probably still gonna run. Well, especially since Nahida, I mean, Firina will be able to dispatch some of those, including maybe their shields, without having to actually pay attention to them with normals because of the way her summons work. I, huh, yeah. Firina first half. I'll hide them second. It is interesting how they're mixing so many kinds of enemies in with each other. That is honestly one of the more interesting things about Abyss, how they can pretty freely mix and match enemies from different regions with each other who normally would never show up with each other. Oh, but right. Idol is still playing because we're still technically in a multiplayer instance. What happens if we close a multiplayer instance in Abyss? Do I stay in Abyss? Restoring your world. Yeah, and it does send me back to Abyss. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's good news, actually. It's not like it would have been a pain to start things up because it's not like this run had even started, but still more convenient that way. Okay, and just take you down, and thanks. Cool. Cool. Oh, now we got this garbage. I don't like this garbage at all. Well, our reactions are going through pretty quick. And just the pure damage dealt by Furina is still very capable. That is the power of Golden Troop for you. Jamo Suraga! Out of my way! Okay. And come on, come on, come on. One thing I found out relatively recently is that Shinobu is an English voice actor, which to be fair is not really relevant for me because I don't use English voices, is she was the announcer for I think the first Super Smash Flash game, if you're familiar at all. Which is honestly very, very funny. But... Because that was... The real funny thing about stuff like Super Smash Flash is that... A pretty significant number of the sprites were just based off of X from Mega Man X. Which is very, very amusing for a number of reasons. But, such as Mario, for whatever reason, Mario in Super Smash Flash was based off of Mega Man X, design-wise, which is just an incredibly funny decision. And, oh my, why do I keep, oh, without the shield, I have no interruption res, that's right. Hmm, so the energy did not come back. I, this is going to be an interesting one. I guess we can just try to get this going as quickly as possible and see how we can maybe take you down with just normal skills. And we'll see. Damn, just so incredibly capable. And alright. Let's do it looking easy like this instead of... Ooh, okay, come on. Take you down, take you down, and alright, the mark is working well, and Bob Jack. Cool. Okay. It's time for the final chamber. This one is blazing through as normal and usual. Okay. Let's just take you down and the danger with application on Baju's kit is, of course, as normal. Not the most impressive thing in the world. And alright. Cool and crocodile, crocodile, crocodile. We don't need to take down the crocodile, we can just Kill his master, ignore the fact that he gets a big Raz increase because our base damage is just that good. And, oh, didn't we match it? I think we just barely hit both Ruined Raiders. And, cool. And I framed through that burst, and cool. Thanks. I... I know it's only st only 410, but it's still just honestly ridiculous. I, uh, both would work for either, but the Elhytham team would probably work better for this, and Furina for the second, just because of the teaser reactions, and, well, I don't know. 
big thing is that good old Baiju actually is a shield, which could be good for the Geo Bishop and but at the very same time, uh, well, t put should make this not a problem. We'll see. I, I'll still go with Corian team first half and other team other half. Then Shinobu, Shinobu, Nahida, Yewon, Alhaitham. So the question is, I'm not sure whether Yewon has the correct fav bow right now. So I have an R5 one and an R3 one, and she and Farazan trade between them depending on... Who I'm using and where I'm using them, and sometimes I use them together, like on a Wanderer team. In that case, I usually give the R5 to Farazan, kind of equalize their chances of proccing it. Because I could just give the because high refines increase the chance of actually generating particles on crit. Farazan's got a bit lower crit than Yoan. It is what it is. Okay, and oh, this is. Oh, this is why this one is hated and despised. It's because of the domain monolith stuff. Oh, right. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks. And oh, the explosions are really, really troublesome. And I... Ooh. Hmm. The eye, this is certainly something. I don't like this. Big question is... How much am I going to be able to take down these guys? So we need to make sure that mm, we're actually hitting correct enemies, and the arena is here. The arena is good, but we really need to hope that the second part does better than it's currently doing. And we should be okay. Should be a-okay. Come on, the arena. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. This one is going to be for all the marbles, then. I am a little bit worried. Oh, we'll see. Big thing is that it shouldn't be horrible, horrible. We'll see. Hmm. Gotta break all those shields. Thanks, and all right. Yeah, the shield breaking is honestly the real issue. It is what it is, but... I okay. When, oh my goodness. I alright. Yeah, I. Hmm. Let's reconfigure that party and see. I. Ha. Huh. Yeah, that domain monolith part is going to be the issue. Even though the other teams will probably. The configuration that I previously had would probably work a bit better for. Later chambers, I'll probably still run it like this. Hmm. Just because of... This first chamber is just so annoying that it's not a pure DPS check. Because even the later chambers, even with resistance issues, I should still be able to just deal with it by way of DPS, but... Eh, we'll see. Come on, and over there, thanks, and just like that. And this should work better for first part. Thank you, everyone can be hit by all of my reactions, and I don't really have to worry about other stuff. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks, and alright. Uh -huh. All the little guys are not exactly getting hit by my... Reaction is not all the time, at least. Okay, cool. Thanks, and... All around. Ooh, okay, let me... Ooh, okay, we did get that back. That's good. Just worried about some of the battering. And, uh, Oh, but all the explosions are... I think those are causing some issues, too. Just gotta see how well we can do this. I, I'm a bit worried. It's actually going worse than before. I might have to just try Venti on the first half or something and actually go back another team, which would kind of suck. Yeah, this is already going worse. I'm actually kind of surprised. But something was up with the camera there, and I don't like it. I didn't know it was up, but it was bad. And cool. Thanks, and all right. Cool, cool, and wait, what? Can I oh, because the monolith is getting in my way in a weird sense. Now, this is really stupid. This is really, really stupid. I genuinely hate this. I... huh. Especially since... 
using an animo heavy team would probably be kind of useless for later half. I uh, huh. Let me just think. Hmm. Well, maybe. Sorry, sneezed. I sneeze again. Uh, this is why I hate cats. I mm, let me think. And then it was an exaggeration. Hello, how are you doing? Glad to see you. I'm trying to figure out this abyss. It's kind of troublesome. Then who on which side? I feel like aggravate. Go for a Kaza kind of team instead of a Corin team, maybe. It is interesting, that's for sure. Question is whether Baijiu would be good enough. Because this is a defense monolith one with all these slimes. So if you don't have Animo, it becomes kind of untenable. Hmm. Let me think. I just... The reactions and the damage, everything there is really quite something. I will say that much. Who do I want and where? The big thing is that Venti could maybe be kind of good. Let me just think about this. Probably have to switch out the Stringless or something, but... Because it's Venti and Kaza that'd be running for their crowd control, but... What does Venti even have on him? Let's just check. Venti's got... King Squire, which... Is not great. Guess I could give him the... Other crappier Stringless right now. Or I could give him this one. Yeah, that works okay. It's not as good as Stringless, but... Keep that on Fischl. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is tough. Fischl, I mean, Venti and who and who. This is the question. The big thing is that without Fischl on the team, there would be no good way to... Take down... I'll figure it out. Some kind of animo team with, let me think. It's gonna end up really scuffed if I'm gonna keep on trying to use proper characters, but I don't know, we'll live. Shinobu and... This would also help Shinobu get her burst back. Shinobu... Venti? That's the question, is who I want Kazo with? Probably, hmm. This can go with Kaza, especially, I mean, Venti, especially because of the energy regeneration, and then, who else besides, I guess, Furina and Alhytham, and the healing would get really scuffed, but maybe Yeon and Alhytham? Probably because of the, I don't know. Big thing is that Yeon would not work all that well with Corin most likely, and there's a bit of an anti-synergy there, so we'll stick with Elon. And the other side, I guess we'll go with Kaza and Corin. They're much more standard. But if Purina is on here, I do want Baiju. Or I could go with who do I want then? Probably just a standard Kutchik style aggravate team with. Official on there to use a charge shot to apply element, and then Kaza, Nahida, and Corind. This could work, but oh, there's no Furina though. I huh. I guess in that case I'll put Furina on the Alhytham team. It's in the interest of using as many relevant characters as I can. Hear about what? I won't know if I've heard in, until you tell me. Okay. I don't want to be rude, but you can literally- you can just say things without prefacing them. I'm never going to refuse you. Okay. And the question is, if we go over here and... Take you out, and this should be close. Ooh, but we did we- okay, never mind. Yeah, I did see that. Which I respect, because... If they're doing stuff based on the game, they had better... You know, know what goes on in the game. I guess the question is, how much... How much did that... Wait, what? Oh, they probably got stuck. Okay. Yeah, well... 
You're gonna give me bad feelings about Italians if you... Never mind. Okay. Yeah, the question is... Okay, I really need to focus on the Electro Slums because I kept hitting everything. Let me just see. Right, okay. Come on, come on. And... You're getting close. Yeah, the big thing is... That, yeah. At least to me. Oh, right, because if you don't have good Electro, they're just going to detonate, and... I mean, good Hydro, they're just going to detonate, and explode, and take everything out that way, and... Uh, that's the really annoying thing. You need to find a way to keep them away. Huh? Well, whatever. That is not true. That is not true. I try to be nice almost all the time. Okay, and to see who I can take out, and oh my goodness, I, the damage that they deal the mom with is actually absurd, almost. Okay, and oh, that's right, right, right. What's? Oh, okay, but uh, uh, Kumo Pokey ends. Oh, but it swirled the entirely wrong thing. Well, whatever. Let's just do this before we have to deal with bloom issues. And uh, the issue is, she gets stuck on the monolith incredibly easily. That just it's nonsense, really. Okay, cool. Let's prevent you from doing anything by way of swirls and... Cool, cool, cool. This should work a good deal better, hopefully. And take you down, take you down, and... Cool, cool, and all right, and all right, and cool. Thanks, and okay, they're targeting me, which is really, really useful. That's good. Really good. Oh, and they're staying away, which means we can just official take it down, and okay, cool. Let's hit you with guns. I am going to shoot you to death. Okay, cool. And... Okay, so that actually worked, and now this incredibly silly team has to keep going through the rest of the chambers. As one does. Oh, but, right, now we have to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh -huh. Oh, and nothing hit at all. Okay, that's really weird. I know that I've seen things about talking about characters' vertical range, but... The fact that Venti is... Venti is so horizontal constrained is a surprise to be and not in a good way. Very cool, and let's go over and do this. This should be okay. Should be capable. And come on, come on, and dodge that. Cool, Morata. And we have you, and oh, the others are just more Geo Bishops. Great stuff. Okay, cool. And I guess we don't really need all of that. We can just do this. And mm, we don't have that burst back. The big thing is we need to make sure we have the burst for the final chamber. Because the time limit is going to get significantly stricter. Okay, cool. Question is, what does Shinobu have? I probably did not need to use that burst. Yeah, but the big thing is, is that what I've seen about the DLC, some things have been spoiled for me. There are a lot of really, really, really cool looking weapons. That's going to make it harder to, like I want to, probably wait a bit. And go through a good amount of the vanilla game before continuing. We'll see what happens into the deal scene. I'm not sure. It depends on what I feel like and how impatient I get. The big thing is that the main game you know, is balanced around not the DLC. The DLC is, you know, quite frankly, deliberately overpowered in some ways. So I want to make sure that. There's still some level of challenge, and even though the Evil Sats challenge is not so much a challenge, it's just the way I like to play the game, I still do feel like I'd like to show off the entirety of the game, or at least as much as, much as I can show of it, just on the base of vanilla difficulty before doing anything else. And can we... Okay, we can suck you up, that's good. Thank you, and... Take you down like this, cool, and... Question is, how long Shinobu's verse is gonna last for all this? This is an interesting abyss for sure. And, oh, but that's gone. Well, whatever. Okay. And just do this then. Cool. Nice. Take you out. Energy restoration for Venti verse is helping, but it took a while for it to swirl correctly. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter much. We're still taking this down easy street. Alright, there we go. Then we have. This very, very normal team. 
And we got Terror Shroom, so we'll just take this, roll you, and alright. Cool, cool, and Nahida, Nahida. Put down you, put down you, and alright. And that works a bit better, and oh my goodness, uh, okay, alright, and okay, dodge. That's, wait, what? Huh? Oh wow, that took a lot longer than I expected. So I guess that means, let's see if we can do this while Corinne is still dead. It would be funny for sure. And just like this, pull that, and oh, but, hmm, can we, can that, can correctly scroll, that's good, and... So even with a dead Corinne, this is really no problem at all. Thank you, Deepwood. Deepwood is just big. Okay, there we go. Dead Terrace Room. And then it's time to actually try out. Final part, and... Maybe if I wanted to be really funny, I could actually figure out a way to get Hydro Swirl to take that shield down, but it would be some significant trouble. I'm just gonna try it like I did before and see if it works. Question is again whether I want to keep Furina in or probably go with Yohan. No, probably Corinne and then it's hard to think about who I want to run. Which team on which side. The big thing is making sure I've got more Well the Bob or Seahorse and the Scorpion. I can avoid all this annoying resistance if I just use the Dendro on that side, so yeah, I'm gonna use a hyphen team on that side and then the this team on the first side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, and then. Just the normal team, and I guess the question would be, let me just check what Yoan's got on her. She does have the R5 Fav Warbo, so I am showing. That's good. So let's keep on going. Use... Uh, healing effectiveness could be okay. Actually, well, the big thing is, I don't know who's sprinting. I guess what I could do is just... Immediately sprint upon Corin deployment. Let's see what happens. There we go, and lining up is going to be crucial for this. Okay, cool and cool, nice. There we go, and cool, nice, and all right. Just got to make sure we got everyone lined up. And oh, this is useful. This is really, really useful. Thank you, thank you. Oh, but that took a bit more than I might have liked. And only three of those bad boys. Only one Ruin Guard. Wow. Okay, cool. Thanks, take you down and... Do it like that. And cool. Nice, and... Cool. Nice. Take you down. And the nice thing is that this is fine in multi-wave, but I've still got its problems. Oh, okay. Whatever. Oh, good. And put that down. And our timing was actually... A little off in the sense of. Well, alright. One, two, and. Thanks. This is a question is the bond of life you can get from various sources is. Uh, but the hits are a little strange. I, okay. Whatever, we gotta use this now, and. Oh my goodness, alright. How much did Baju. Baju did get all his energy back, which is very, very good. But I, I'm worried about this chamber. Cool, and how much do we have left? We have you and... Uh, I, uh, this actually significantly worries me. Uh, okay, and... Uh, how did she not get that back? I... Okay. Well, whatever. I, okay, cool. And just... Cool, cool. Because I, uh, I might have to figure out some other weird games for this. And I, that really, really sucked. It just... I don't know why... Baiju did not get his burst back, but Furina did not get her burst back. It's... Hmm. This is worrisome. I think I'll actually go for the healing effectiveness. It would help a bit with... Furina stuff, probably. At least a little. We'll see what happens. At least this might make things a little faster, I'm not quite sure, but I- okay. Thanks, and come on. Thanks, and thank you. Thank you, thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Three, and okay, I- oh, but I did that entirely incorrectly. It was really, really annoying. Oh, whatever. Okay, cool. Gotta get everything synced up correctly. 
big thing is that the Ruin Drakes drop basically no energy particles, which is probably the most annoying thing about them. That they're pretty strong enemies, but the energy they give is a lot less than you would expect for an enemy of their caliber. And, oh, come on, come on, come on. And we got you, we got you. And then let's try our best to this work. Hit and cool. Cool. Mm, but the healing effectiveness is an issue. I whatever. Thanks and cool. Alright, there we are. We should be able to get everything back. And this should work a bit better. It was a little faster, but I can't even tell exactly why. Well, whatever. I'll live. Come on, just let me see how well we can take out some of you and come on, come on, come on, and take out both of their funny animals and we should be more than good now. The big issue is just getting enemies lined up so Clorin can stab through both of them is actually kind of the skill ceiling of Clorin gameplay, which is not nothing. It's an interesting way to do it from a philosophical standpoint, but it can be very, very finicky. It did work kind of well there. Could have tried a bit harder. Oh, that's an unfortunate angle. Okay. Hello there, hello. And let's just see how we're gonna make this work. And cool. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I guess the question is how many pyroelectors are there? That could lead to an, an issue. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And cool. Thank you, thank you. Just go for the yellow on stuff. And okay, there we are, there we are. And cool. Thank you. And oh, wait, there's more? There's more. Oh, I. This is not good. This is actually really, really bad for me. And, mmm, I'm not even sure the fat procs. Okay, cool. Thank you, and just do it like this, do it like this. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 and hit, and cool. Thanks, and just... Okay, cool, and do we get a... Did not get what we wanted to need it, that's a shame. And how did they get so far away? Well, whatever, okay. Come on, come on, I, okay, all right, and... Hmm. I need... This is just not gonna work. That really sucks, honestly. Oh, I, okay, cool. Uh, this is just... A really bad abyss for... Most of these characters, honestly. I, okay. It's... It's gonna be new V Fury team. It has to be. I'm not happy about it, but it's gonna have to be. Hmm. The other side. So the Nuva Fury team should destroy everything here, presumably. Question is what I use on the other half. I well, without being able to use Farina for Chlorine, maybe I'll just go for Of Cause is gonna be with Nuvi Fury team. Then maybe I actually run to Hida and then Baju and then Fischl and just go all no shred, just really heavy, and then Dendro and healing and I really don't know. It would be okay. And the Dendro would help Baju too, but yeah, that could that could work. Pro Heisen. Guess he's going on break. People have talked about this abyss actually being one of the Harder ones in recent memory, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, probably official on first, just to start a charge shot. Get the quicken up. A freeze team with Corinne would probably not be viable. Because that would mean having Electro and Cryo and Electro on the th Cryo Hydro Electro on the same team. So the freeze would probably it would get constantly broken by your own superconducts. And I've seen some people talk about sort of joke comps where Corand is actually on field with their physical normals doing, you know, stuff augmented by Superconduct, but those are mostly joke teams. At least I'm pretty sure. At least I hope. And... <sighs> Corand can work Taser, and I might try that out with Sigwin when Sigwin is out in a bit. But I would not say that Freeze is a viable archetype for her to fit into, just because it's not... It's a reaction she would, ar she would interfere with. Especially since she has high Electro app. One team I've run in the past, which has actually worked okay, was Shinobu, Xing Zhao, Nahida, and Fremen A, which did get freeze reactions, but the point wasn't the freeze as much as shatter or just any kind of 
cryo-related reaction to buff up Primanese passive, and it still wasn't amazing. The big thing was just, Shinobu doesn't have very fast electro application, just kind of the point of her, because her entire deal was to be a be a hyper boom trigger without interfering too much with other reactions on the team. This is why she works well with Fremine, but Corian's entire deal is dealing a lot of electro application to get various reactions that work well there. Oh, but right, Baiju wouldn't be on that team if... So who do I put in as the final slot? I don't have a lot of good Dendro. A lot of Dendro in general. I mean, I guess I could put in Yao Yao just to be funny. It's an idea. It's for more healing, I I guess. I mean, I have Yao Yao there. It's an extra slot. There aren't other, really other... I Or I could put in Shinobu. I, nah, the Dendro Residents would probably be better off for me. This is... I tried using Yao Yao before to try to make Sino work in Abyss. And eventually gave up on this. On that, I think it was before I started streaming, actually. But, I don't know. And Baiju, then Kaza, and then Nuvi Boy. Okay. A team for real shippers. Okay. This... Yeah, I'm not going to be sprinting much on this team, so I'm going to have to go for the healing. And there we go. Put down the Yao Yao. The Yo Yo. And will this hit? Thank you, thank you. And we have that already. And okay, and the question is how much will you egg we make this work? And ooh, I have. This team has some problems. Alright. Oh, but I. That's right, I completely forgot to put Oz down. I may be stupid. I may be stupid. Okay. Because the big thing is, well, actually, this team does not need all the much battery, so we'll live and that down, and cool. This is tough. This is kind of tough, and cool. Thanks. One, two, three. 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 And there we go. Cool. Now we can do this again, repeat the strategy, and oh, right, we have that fun. And, well, that didn't quite work. It's the advantage of having a bow on the team, but we mess it up, and cool. It is still kind of hilarious that Official uh, is one of the few characters in the entire game who doesn't have iframes on burst. It's very, very silly. Okay, and just over there, cool, and ooh, my goodness. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Put this down, and what weapon does she even have? I, I definitely don't have a good weapon on here. Because I know that I usually run for Fablance. But, I, I just, this is certainly something, this is certainly something, I, okay, come on, I, okay, cool, I, I have my reservations about this team, well, whatever, I'll live, the big thing is that this team gets energy back exceptionally easily, which is probably its greatest advantage, and I, mm, no one is taking damage from anything, okay, well, whatever. Big thing is making sure we get to mark on everything and everyone here. And ooh, we did not get that much of anything. And did we even get any kind of healing off? Don't think we did. Well, whatever. I, okay, cool. Let's kill the. Uh, we can't kill the bird. What in the? Okay, die bird. Stupid bird. Stupid bird. I'm balling. And cool. Thanks. Take you out. And I, I get the impression that something is going on with the Alio. That. I may not like, in terms of the weapon she's got equipped, because she definitely doesn't have Favalance equipped. So the question is what she actually has equipped. Can this team do it? Can this team do it? I have my doubts. The big thing is, like, I'll be able to use Kaza to get the Vectors all in one place, which is good. Okay, cool. Thanks. And take you down. Alright, and who's next? You're next. All right, all right, cool. Do that and draw you in, cool. Do this with the remaining droplets I haven't. Oh come on, I hate you so much. There we go, and yeah, we definitely need a better team for first half. But who would contribute damage? Where would I get a damage contribution? I feel like the only way to make it work would be some kind of silliness with. Oh, well, I don't know, some kind of silliness. Okay, alright, thanks. 
this out of the way. The final part is gonna be, but we'll see. And all right, and we still. The Bajor shield basically did nothing for me. That's the thing. Okay, so who do I put in first half? Big thing is, is that the only thing that deals both enough damage in the Hydro application for second half is a new Fury team. First half, it's got a single target and it's got to have, frankly, some kind of aggravate. The question is, yo yo, in the very least needs to have fab lines. If I'm even going to be running Yao Yao, which I have reservations about. Okay, yeah, she has the weak fab lands. She has the crap fab lands. That actually... Uh, that... That's not bad. Moon Piercer would actually be pretty good. Pretty good for this. But the big thing is, is... I'm not sure. Or what I could do is... I could... Yeah, I should probably put in Yale on and basically run it as a sort of discount version of the Hyper Boom team. I would run with all hype them. The benefit of being able to use Corrin as an official driver. Yeah, this should work. A decent deal better. We'll see. Big thing is just remembering to... Since, especially since Nahito is going to be the solo Dendro... I really need to get an initial uh, initial quicken aura off so that Nahida can use a normal to trigger one quick Skanda Seed reaction and proc and get some particles, but it should be good. It's been a while since I ran a girl boss team. Okay, and newbie fury team is back. Girl boss team, controversial ship team. We really do have it all. Okay, cool. Let's do this thing. Then, yeah, healing effectiveness for sure. Then we do this. Put the shield down, and... Okay, cool. Bloom Baiju? No, not Bloom Baiju, but... Hyper Bloom... Corrin got it. And the nice thing is... Oh, but this team no longer has any healing source. You did hear that right. Okay. Let's just shoot, and... Alright. May as well stop you in your tracks. It has been a while since I was able to do that. And cool, and alright. Thank you, cool, and okay, nice, and ah. Uh, there are some drums in here, but they're still mostly good. And cool, cool, cool. I, uh, yeah. They, they're free, they're free to do it. Yeah. And come on, come on, come on. You know. Thanks, and alright, yeah, but the lack of healing on this team is probably gonna cause some issues, but I- ah, Really, I- The damage is... Honestly... Something. Oh, whatever. Oh, with and- uh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Somehow... Somehow... Well, whatever. Oh, but whatever. I, big thing is that I still gotta get the mark off, which is kind of the issue. I don't get the mark off on everyone here. This is not gonna work as well. But I, oh, but I, oh, what? Come on. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do this thing and oh, but what ended up? Okay. Cool. I, what? The fact that I just can't take out seemingly. The animals with this team is really the worst part, but I... Is there even a team that will work here? I honestly can't tell. Well, whatever. I... Uh, uh... Because Yelan actually... Yelan might have been getting in the way of the Dendro application. Well... The Super Boss event was definitely a whale event. This... Honestly, actually, I might want to run instead of Baiju. Oh, but there'd be no healing. There's no real good team wide healer. Or maybe I could put Fab on Gene? I really don't know. This is tough. I could put Fab on Gene and then replace Baiju with Fischl. Or maybe not Fischl, because Fischl would, and maybe Yai, actually. So the thing about Fischl is that Nuvia doesn't do normals, so the benefit of the C6 would be gone entirely. But if I put in Yai, 
I am in a state. This is actually kind of insane. But, uh, especially since Kaz's contribution would be kind of, I mean, negligible is a mean way to say it, but it wouldn't be as strong as I might like on this specific team. Well, whatever, okay. Cool, cool. Getting close, and take you down. Thanks, keep on kiting, keep on kiting. I definitely won't be able to make this work. Okay, cool, and thanks. Decent enough timing, and cool. Thanks, alright, and just time this. Well, the big thing is... I'm running her for a damage bonus, which would make it really tough to... And also for her Hydra application. And when she's in healer mode, she isn't doing any kind of application, is the thing. This is... I would say that Abyss difficulty... Definitely peaked with... Last patch it peaked with 3.7, and this is 4.7. So it makes some sense. It was really funny, actually, that they made... Well, based on insider information, quote-unquote, 4.8 Abyss might be even worse than this. So I'm gonna have to put in Jean, maybe. And that would probably mean switching out her artifact set in favor of... Somebody else's fab set, because right now she's got no bless to work with. That Scar team I did last time, but if we put in... Question is who set... Just putting Kaza on the first half would be really, really good if I could make him work with Clarend is the thing. Which I probably could. So let's just steal Venti's artifacts real quick and see if this makes it work any better. The fact that I'm having to go to a uniquely scuffed team setups just to make any of this work is becoming increasingly crazy, but the big thing is that Kaza could, in theory, I don't know, Swirl Hydra to take down the Elector's Power Shields really, really fast. The issue with that is... Can't reliably guarantee it, especially because he'll Swirl Elements off of himself, which makes it extremely likely that they'll hit him with a Pyro attack during his burst animation, and it'll make the burst end up Swirl and Pyro. The only opportunity you really have is when the Electors are in the midst of transforming, but before they do, and it's just so finicky. She does have VV now, and have Sword or Amanoma. The big thing is, what's the crit rate of this? This, that artifact set is pure EM, basically no crit, and... I, uh, uh... Well, actually, in that case, she should probably be taking Lynette's set. <sighs> Bloom is an interesting idea, and apparently people have actually had a lot of success with Newly Bloom. In this abyss, the issue is, is that I literally don't have Nilu. Nilu is one of the few characters who I don't have. The only characters I don't have are Kirara, who's the only four star I don't have, who. Well, we'll see about that one. And then it's Kui, Nilu, Ayato, Ayaka, Ito, and Kokomi. And most of them are Inazuma, because, like I said, I started during Inazuma. Yeah. Jean could take. Lynette's set, because that actually has a decent amount of crit. It's a non-EM oriented fab set that I made a while back, actually. So let's just take that back from Jean, and I have... And the interesting thing is that for Lynette's set, I had so much fab that literally every piece in the set is fab. I mean, viridescent, viridescent, not Favonius, viridescent. I'm losing my mind. But Setsu was right, this is a fun quote-unquote abyss, and by fun I mean, how am I going to do this, please? Got good energy recharge, decent crit rate and such. This should help with... Let me just see. This has, yeah, this is doable. She should be able to Riley proc fab with this, and... on the other part, who would I put in? Probably I. Probably I. By fun I mean pain. My pain and your fun. And then Scoured Atlas is actually pretty good on a Yai team. She's not going to be really triggering reactions. And this should be more than capable. On the other side, we'll stick with... Official, Corrin, Kaza, Nahida, probably. That could hopefully work. 
The big thing is that when I would run that team before with Cutching instead of Coriand, I was able to put in, use a quick fish Cutching E at the very start, in order to apply Electro, because with Coriand, then I'd be wasting her entire burst duration is the thing. I mean, her entire skill duration. So what that means is that... Uh, that would throw off some... The big thing is that I'm trying to make the rotations work in terms of just muscle memory and button order can be a little annoying at times. I gotta do this one with a bit more conscious thought, which is never good. Can't rely on that working. Okay, and then other side would be who and whom I ha huh. trying to figure this out. What order would I want to run this in? Huh. This should still be fine. That shouldn't actually make a crazy difference. We'll see how this works. Okay, healing effectiveness. Still probably probably a good idea, but this team has to run through it with literally no healing whatsoever, which could be tough. Will probably be tough. Okay, and just do that, and cool, thanks, and alright. Here we are, just do that, and this is already... Much, much better. Okay, cool. But, oh, no reactions on the other side is going to be kind of tough. Okay, all right. And cool. Thanks. And out of the way of you. And Kazuha. No, I'm more from Mama Me. And Oshimi. And okay. But the damage we're taking is more than the troublesome, but we'll give. And cool. Nice. And okay, cool. And again, it just. The speed we take them out is really, really good, but. Uh, the question is... Uh, the energy is a problem as well, and I just really, really worry about this one. Okay, cool. Switching cooldown, which is good, because we didn't actually want to switch. And take advantage of that shred for the swirl on the... Ooh, damage! I don't like that. Cool, and... Alright, and... Uh -huh. I, I am really not sure about this one. Okay, cool. And just take you... Out a little, and mm -hmm. I need to be really smart about this one. Okay, so let's put you down. Do it like this, and oh, but oh, what? Oh, come on! That's just infuriating. Huh? These rotations are actually really, really painful. But none of them really sprint, so. Might have to go for one of those healing blessings. I'm really not sure. The big thing is, is that sometimes if I really feel like it, I can fit in... Uh, fit in another cause to swirl in other rotations and other forms of the team. But this is not how it works. It's not how it works. And reactions are not proccing, which is only could be good for me only be good for me and come on come on I, okay really no point to that honestly this is just time loss but you won't have to worry about any kind of interference this way yeah the flexibility or lack thereof of the rotations on this team is actually kind of its biggest weakness it i mean we'll live but okay yeah and unless i do that no damage is really being dealt but lack of ability to reapply is really getting to me well whatever I... okay. Uh, 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 Alright, and just put you down, put that down. Try this again, and cool, thanks. I... Uh, thank you, thank you, and... Right. The big thing is we need... Get this out, get this out, get the swirls going, get the swirls going. Put the heater down as soon as possible, and just... Thanks, and alright, and who took damage, who took damage, you took damage, okay, cool. Okay, the good thing is, I think, with the animals got taken out, no, not both of them, but most of them, which is good, and how does that tornado keep going even after the bird is dead? That is the worst part by far. This should hopefully be fine, but we'll see. We got an okay amount of time, this is just silly as the thing, and I, ah, why do you put the thing there, I actually hate you. Okay, and one, two, three. Put you down, put you down, and. Alright, and cool. Thank you, alright, okay, we can just do that from up here, and. 
movie yet. And, oh, but one more. Bull oh, okay. This is actually kind of awful. Okay, cool. And can we push them closer to each other? I think we can. Cool, cool. And just. I worry about this one. Legitimately. Seriously, heavily. And cool. Thanks. And oh my goodness. Okay, alright. Uh, I. There, there, there's gotta be some way. Right? Presumably. Some easy way to do this. Easier. I, I need to look up what teams people have been using, honestly, because I just... Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, this is just not working. Okay. Uh, 4.7 Spiral Abyss teams. Honestly, I kind of feel as if they might be hoping that you play this once Imaginarium Theater comes out, because once Imaginarium Theater comes out, a significant number of characters will get pretty big damage buffs, which would probably make the difference. So it would be Furina, Alhaitham, Sigwin, and Corind. It's just Genshin 4.7 Abyss teams. If it's Neo, I'm going to die. Going to actually just eat my own head. But the second half is just... I feel like you would have to somehow finagle it into swirling Hydra with Akaza in order to make anything work. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. First half, second half, and of course it's mostly Nilu. Of course it's mostly Nilu. You've got to be kidding me. I. Okay, and for whatever reason, they use an Arlequino comp online? I. Second half. Oh, but that's 11. I... Huh. Team I was using was good for the first half, but the second half is... Some people are... And there's at least one Nilo team on there. Also a... Huh. Zhongli team? Zhongli team. Maybe just for the shields? I really don't know. I, I I worry about this one. I'm worried about this one. I guess we could try putting Jongli in the other half and running the teams that was before, but like I said... Not DPS Jongli, just Jongli is a shielder because he could trigger relevant reactions to keep things going and also... The big thing is just having a shielder would help a bit for... Just... New Viet is incredibly squished and get, get interrupted incredibly easily. And if you have Jongli, you'd be able to go up. Just right in the face of the lectors. Also, the team does have some energy issues, and Zhongli should theoretically, and he does even have. He's got his tenacity on right now, which is nice. Okay. That's good. All oh, this is good. I don't think that anyone has the wrong pieces on them. Yeah. Gina's okay. The big thing is I gotta remember she's got Lynette's pieces, though to be fair. This piece would work good for Lynette too. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Well, I wouldn't be running Lynette Motto Animo. It is interesting how they've tried many times to make better sets for Animo characters than Viridescent, and it simply never worked. Viridescent is just that broken. So the question is... First half, same as I did it before, and then just... Playing more aggressively because I've got Zhongli on the other half. I... Okay. I am not sure. The big thing is Furina should come out first because that would allow Zhongli to crystallize, which would help Yuvi its damage a little. That said, the big thing is, is that Zhongli's burst, though it does take a while, applies a crazy amount of element, which means it's actually very good for breaking shields. That might be why he's there. I'm not quite sure. Either way, I was not expecting this abyss to be as brutal as it ended up being. That said, given the whole multi-wave thing, I might want someone other than Nahida. We'll see how this one works. I am conflicted and in trouble. It's just... They really said, time to make a painful abyss again. Last one was pretty bad, but this is worse. This is much worse. Cool. 
Yeah, but the lack of flexibility on rotations here the quarantine is more than all silly, I will say that. And, uh, 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 the damage taken there was annoying. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, I actually, what I should probably do is... Use Nahida to just do a couple more hits, and then... The big thing is that putting in Korand means commitment. It was about a year ago when the TCG event came out. The first rotation of that one with... The first time Iniquitous Baptist was in Abyss, I barely missed the 36 star. Barely. I eventually put together a really, really silly Hu Tao Burgeon team. The fact that Burgeon was basically required there because it was a Hydro... Cryo... Pyro... Lector. Which... Like I said, you basically have to run a Burgeon comp to deal with the shields and do any kind of damage. Which is part of why I eventually built a Burgeon Toma team. Just so that if anything like that ever happened again, I'd be able to deal with it. And it's actually a really strong team too, which is the funniest part. I don't regret it, even from just a standpoint of this team is strong. But, and then we can put you down, and then, alright, just can we, mm -hmm, use this to, oh no, I do need to, I do need to run Corrind for that. But actually, what I could do is run Corrind, use Corrind's burst, use Nahida's normals, and then, kidding, the big issue is that, I get these guys down, basically exactly the wrong way and that oh goodness i did not like that come on we do this and the bond of life will stay which is good and i don't need to switch out which is good and then we can just put that back on you and then do this cool and thanks cool and this should take out the ruined guard presumably i wonder uh, uh, all right I, i'm worried i'm worried now Come on, just... Uh-huh. Okay, cool. And just like this. Then we... Nikita. Put down Fischl again. But, uh, we're not gonna have all that. That's the, that's the real shame. Well, whatever. I'll live. Thanks. Thank you. Uh-huh. But what are you gonna... What element is... Oh, and of course you have the... That's really, really dumb. Okay, cool. Don't hate that at all. And I, oh, this is actually really tough. Uh, and it didn't even swirl the right element. I... Uh, this is certainly something. I'm... kind of in a position. Uh, it's just... getting these primal constructs down without using Glorin stuff is going to be kind of crucial, but... Also, trouble and. Oh, really? 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 Whatever. Thanks. Take you down and. Cool. Alright, but we need this for some of that. And. But the. Oh, the official is. I. It makes me think that you're just supposed to have, I don't know, a Corrin's weapon or something. This is really painful. Well, whatever. I'm just gonna. Well, I guess what I could do, actually, is try to lure the primal constructs as far over here as possible. Get them as close as I can, and then do it like that. It's an idea. Then at least I could maybe make it this work, and can I... Okay, cool. Thanks, and Nihita on you, and there we go. This could maybe work, and... Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three... One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, well, I, all right. Thanks, cool, cool, and... Okay, that was still very silly, but we'll live, and all right, cool, and... Oh, well, to be funny, maybe I could try to use the... Official to take him down, but no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not going to do that. Right, okay, cool, and... Take you down, cool, and all right. Thanks. The big issue is just... As good as the thrusts are for hitting multiple things at once, it's just not really working for me. So this actually, it took a lot of screwing, but we made this work. We actually made this work. Okay, cool. And just, thanks, thanks, thank you. Just try that again, and ooh, okay, cool. And just, 
thanks in that round before you use anything else and put you down and arrange. Cool, cool. And we kill all the animals. That's exciting. So that should be a good enough clear of the first half too. Take down the second half. Chose to kill the animals. What is this, Super Metroid? I... If you saw the Nintendo Direct yesterday, I'm very, very excited for the new Zelda game and the new... The new Metroid Prime game. Metroid Prime is one of my favorite series of all time. It's just, I don't get a lot of chances to talk about it because they never put out new games. But, the big thing is... What about Zelda? About her being the main character, or... Come on, come on, just take you down and... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, whatever. Cool, cool. Keep on going, keep on going, and we should be fine, and... More big blasts. Should be good. Okay, cool. And we'll use a bit more of that later, but... Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks, thanks. And... Take you down, and... Cool, alright, and I did not quite need to do that. Whatever. It's confirmed. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. They cast Chris Pratt. I may have some strong words for Nintendo. And there we are, and big damage to you. Ah, ah. But it really does look cool to me. I am legitimately very, very excited for it. I... It's definitely going to be less of a combat-focused game, but I like that, in, like that in its own way. It's just very different. And can I... Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, if they, if they cast Chris Brown again, it might be the case. But I... Oh my goodness. Okay. Cool. Uh, we were so close. We were so close. Uh, this is actually horrible. I... It can't be... It cannot be... Well, what it could be is... I could run Venti. Which would be really, really scuffed. Well... It's not that I have anything against Chris Pratt as a person. It's just that... He's everywhere. And when you see somebody... A bunch of times, eventually you start getting sick of them in the sense of... You know, the big thing is that it's usually just, oftentimes it's the name recognition thing. Especially since Nintendo was working with Illumination, who, ha who has a very infamous reputation a lot for a lot of people about just celebrity voice ca casting, and as a result to a lot of people not really respecting voice acting as a craft, basically just, the point of voice acting is to have celebrities come in, Make an animated character that has facial features similar to them, like, like the Will Smith fish in Shark Tale. And have them just talk into a mic and sell it on, on name recognition alone. Which actually, DreamWorks, if I recall correctly, started that. There was a movie called Hoodwinked. I never saw it, but it was kind of a sort of edgy, well not really edgy, but humorous Little Red Riding Hood film. And it was made by... Who was it made by? It was made by... No, it was independently animated. But it got really popular, and the big deal was that they got a bunch of celebrity voice actors. Well, they did have Patrick Warburton, who a lot of people like as a voice actor. Yeah, exactly. The big thing is just... There are a lot of screen actors who don't really respect voice acting as a craft and just kind of phone it in. But they're very, well, or at least that's a perception, because there is a tank, which I do find interesting that it's a little unfair to them, specifically because that would be the decision of the voice directors to have, to basically say, you know, don't bother doing a character voice, we brought you in to sound like Will Smith. We brought you in to sound like Chris Pratt, so we could sell the movie on, oh look, this character is actually, quote unquote, Chris Pratt, or Will Smith, or... I don't know why those two examples keep coming to mind, but but you you get the gist. You get the gist. But for example, Mark Hamill, who was Luke Skywalker, went on to be more of a voice actor than a screen actor, and it was I forget his name. Who plays J. Jonah Jameson and Omni Man? Played by J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons 
does a lot of... J.K. Simmons does a lot of voice acting. And it's really funny because they do make a lot of characters who look a bit like him. And to be fair, Omni-Man from Invincible was not made to look like J.K. Simmons. But there were a lot of people joking after the fact that they cast J.K. Simmons as Omni-Man because he looked kind of like Omni-Man when he was younger. Which, I don't know. It's funny, at least. But okay, so we may we may get the big venti comeback. That could be okay. But if he's just for application, the big thing is is trying to get him to absorb hydro on the burst is probably going to be easier said than done. We'll see what happens. Big thing is that the shred should also significantly help. I'm not sure. I just... I feel like there's some wow factor that my team is missing right now. There's something obvious that I could be doing that just... <sighs> the big thing is that maybe I could try using Tartaglia as a sort of Tartaglia national team on the second half. It might be time to bring Tartaglia back, at least for one chamber. There is a very high chance that I actually have to end up switching using a different team for different chambers it happens decently often so honestly i'll just beat the first chamber without regard for time and then just come back and do the first chamber afterwards this is it's been a while since i've had to do that i really like i tend to prefer trying to see if i can put together one team that can beat abyss throughout but like i said i think that some of the Abyss balance this time around was based on the buffs that Ohytham, Sigwin, Furina, and Corrin will get later this month. As in, well, actually at the start of July when the Imaginary Theater game mode gets released, but we'll just see what happens. I'll run a normal Corrin team and a normal Ohytham team and pray and pray. All right. And we got you, and you. Then just figure out some stupid, weird, gimmicky garbage for the first chamber, and see if that works. I am... I would not say I'm at wit's end. I would say that my wits are nearly at their end. But they're not quite there yet. I've got more rope with which to hang myself with. Okay. And... Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Do it like this, and cool, and take you out, yeah, but, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, and, uh, but not in a perfect line, so getting them actually lined up is easier said than done here, and I, oh, come on, I am actually going crazy, and, alright, that actually worked quite well, so let's put this down, and get the hyper wounds off on you and, oh, there was an invisible one, oh, you're kidding, well, whatever. Okay. Thanks. And, okay. At least this damage is actually quite good. The big thing is that with Hyper Bloom, single target is very easy to run and do. But this is where things start heating up. Okay. Cool. And, and, okay. Thanks. Cool. Ooh, alright. Come on. I, uh, but hitting both of them at once is the issue, and I don't really have the sauce for it. Because that's the thing, is that despite being sort of lower level enemy, I mean higher level enemies, they drop a weirdly tiny amount of particles, and that's the real problem. And I, uh, who can I hit? Who can I hit, even? This is a troublesome chamber. Okay, cool. Thanks, and I, ooh, but we have some, we're having a ser we are having a serious problem. Okay. And just take out the bird, maybe, and... Oh my goodness, I... Okay, what? 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 No, no. Come on, I... Okay. Heal and... What? How did... Okay? How did that bird's charge come out so fast? I literally tapped E. What kind of startup does that... Has no startup. I have lots of startup. I am not happy about this situation. Yeah, but it's... Oh, uh, no, but... You know, I still do... You know, try in this game. You know, I've got a decent team, though to be fair, it's mostly horizontal investment rather than vertical investment, and I've 
kind of get the impression that that is not how they're trying to encourage us to play the game now. Oh, you gotta roll for weapons and cons instead of new characters, which I guess makes sense, given that there are a lot of people who just roll for cons and weapons instead. And at this point, their level investment is going to be getting kind of crazy, so to keep the game a challenge, they need to, you know, make it a bit stronger to suit that level of vertical investment, but I'm still not happy about it. And not enough interruption resistance because this world hates me. Okay, cool. It's good that I can reliably send them out of what they have at least, but... Uh, thanks. One, two, three, stab. One, two, three, stab. One, two, three, stab. One, two, three, stab. Two, three, stab. Two, oh, thank you, Setsu. Appreciate it. I... Uh, I really should repay the favor more. Well, I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I will do my best. You were right about this abyss being quote unquote fun, but I'm in trouble. I may be in trouble. Okay, cool. And just. Oh, come on. One and. Oh, please. Thank you, thank you. One. Two, yeah. Please get some good sleep. Please do. And just take you out, take you out, and. Oh, the bird is. The bird is the word, and not in a good way. Come on, come on. I. Okay. Please, I am begging you. I am actually begging. Thank you very much, and uh, none of that. None of that, and is your res down now that you're back alive again? I don't think your- yeah, your res does not come back. That's good. We're living, we're living. Let's try this again. We are- this is just to beat the floor. This is not to actually try to win yet. We will do that again at a later date. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you, and... Alright, and cool. Thanks, thank you very much. And, oh, come on, you, can, you can't just disappear on me like that. Well, you can, I just don't like it when you do that. And, uh, uh Thanks, thanks. And, of course, that hit me too. Of course that hit me too. You gotta be kidding me. You really have got to be kidding. So let's just go ahead and take you down and see how many we can hit like this. Cool, cool, and oh, but the. Alright. Thank you very much, thank you very much, and okay. Dance in the Time for my resurrection. Okay. No, Scotch and I, and will the burning be good or bad for me? Probably bad, but that's life, you know. We'll try our best to survive, and ooh, my goodness. Let's try to make sure Shinobu does not just die. I really worry about this one. And cool. This is a hard one. This is a tough one. I have to do so much dodging. Well, whatever. Okay, cool. I, alright, and just heal, and ooh. You need healing badly. You are about to die. Okay, cool. Just go over and put down another thing or what? Oh my goodness. It's the level of screwery that I need to do to make this work at all is more than a little disheartening. Well, whatever. We'll be able to do some fab shenanigans later, but for now we're just doing it like this. Okay, cool. And that went through regardless of what happened, so... Put this down on you. Run through again. I hope we get some kind of fab to help us out. And cool. Let me just go down here and plunge on you. Plunge on you. I don't need to do much other than this. So we'll just try to survive. And cool. All right. Thanks. You hit it again. You on again. And somebody again. Not you right now. Not you right now. Okay, cool. Thanks. Just try to survive. Ah. Uh, then the rest will be this whole different thing. Thanks. Just gotta make sure we have all our energy back for the second and third chambers and we'll be okay. Presumably. Thanks, thanks. Okay, cool. Alright, alright. Shoot with normal bow shots, sure. If it lets me survive, it lets me survive. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Come on, come on. ER could be good, so good, Max. Uh, stick with ER. Okay. Just in case, and this should be more than doable. Just, there will probably be some energy issues here, but... Thank you, thank you. If it works, it works. If I survive, I survive, yeah. 
That is the way to think about these things, but I... Oh, I, okay, cool. Oh, interesting. That's certainly new to me. And give me more ant things. Take that out. Cool. Take... Ooh, but we need more. Oh, but we got that already. That's good. Thanks, thanks, and where is... Okay. Cool, good timing on that. Thanks, cool. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I... Ooh, all right. And thanks, and dodge. Cool. I... Uh, we're doing well, but I do kind of feel as if I should get this down normally instead of using that. And did we manage to dodge that? I'm not even sure we managed to dodge, but... That... Yeah, that worked well. It's... It honestly feels as if... I've been getting a lot of abysses where the first chamber is arguably the hardest. Which is kind of amusing to me. It's not the worst thing in the world, and it's not unforgivable, but it's definitely amusing. Thanks, and... Ooh, you are tough. You are really, really tough. Okay, cool. Nice, nice, and... Thanks, cool. Yeah, I... I'm not sure how well this one will work. Well, whatever. Cool, and... Dodge all the way that, and... I'm going for you. Make sure we got the mark up. Thanks, thanks, thanks. And take you down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And like that. Keep on going. And cool. Oh, Rift Hands. Rift Hands. Oh, baby. I don't like that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, well, the big thing is, is that... The first chamber is one of the ones that's easiest to change things around for. So you don't have to worry you don't have to worry about not being able to beat the other side with a given team. You just have to use the team that can actually clear that given chamber. With DS3, the big issue was that you couldn't do any kind of character team building or changing up until that final up until you beat the first boss. So if your skills just weren't enough to beat the final boss that the first boss that way, or it was otherwise just Annoying for you, you were kind of SOL. The only thing you could do was get good and... Damn you! Damn you! Uh. And that's the thing, is that... As good as Shinobu's C6 is... Can't do everything. We were so close. We were actually doing really well for ourselves, too. But, you know... Again, wonders never cease. I should have just gotten far away before using that one. That one really is on me, honestly. Yeah. Well, good or bad. Good or bad, or... Cool. And, alright, we did not successfully dodge. We'll live. Thank you, and do that. And, come on, can I... Ooh, okay, alright, and just... Thanks. Alright, we got that down. And, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, we can use that to fly over there. That was actually very convenient. Okay, cool, and... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and... Wait, what? Huh? I... Oh, right? What? One, the... Okay, that was really, really stupid. Oh, okay, fair. Maybe. You hope, don't you? Thanks, and the dendro is uh, an issue, but actually, the Electro Charge is still doing pretty well, because most of Korin's damage is not coming from aggregate reactions. And let's just try this again, and thanks. Little bit of a minor time save there, but just gonna see, and can we... Nice, nice, nice. And it is possible to save a little bit more time by using Shinobu's burst skill during Alhypen's burst, but it's... Oh, come on. Oh, my... Oh, you... You dirty, you dirty, dirty, okay, whatever, I'll, I'll live. Okay, cool. That actually means that we'll have everything right here, so it's not horrible, but I, I'm i worried, I'm worried. Let's see what happens. I, that's the thing about a Hyper Boom team, though, is that it's really easy to accidentally kill one Kyrogy early, even if you're specifically attempting to, you know, make them work by only hitting on, you know, dividing your hits between them. It is a really cool mechanic. I, it might have caused me trouble more times than I might have liked, but it's a very cool way to make healers good. I mean, make AoE incentivized over a really strong single target. Just, you know, really, really good single target that can just burst one down and then the other. It's interesting mechanical for sure, but it doesn't mean I like it per se. And there we go. The additional energy recharge was good. Then we can... Hopefully make sure you don't do a spin attack. Oh my, okay. We barely survived that, so 
Let's go over, kill some of you. And I, mm, that could have been an issue, maybe, most likely, frankly. Big thing is, you are the worst, so let's kill you as soon as possible. And I, wait, what? Huh? Okay. Da da da. Ooh. And just, do I don't have this red reaction anymore, but we can just kill with a Yeon, and the classic Yeon normal. It was a true damage shockwave that did it, but, okay. But then I'll have to figure out what I do to beat Chamber 1. What I have to do. Skill damage, on the, eh, we'll go for the skill damage, excuse me, really good for oh, Hyphen 2, not just for Arena. Okay, alright, so we'll set this up in the meantime. I guess the question is, how would I be able to get the... Hmm, Quickens on reliably, and... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and... Wait, what? Oh, but... Wow, that was really good because of the auto-target. That, that was really, really impressive, actually. Oh, but they weren't producing. Now they're producing. Okay, cool. And can we... we get that? Oh, I need... More, that's trouble. Whatever. Okay, cool. Thank you. And this is just a really good team for this. And don't disappear yet. Or if you do, we're just gonna make you reappear pretty quickly. And cool, can we... Alright, and what, what, what? Alright. Thanks, and can we... Okay, thanks. Take you down. And I... Where are you? Where are you, though? Uh, okay, and... Thanks, thanks. Okay. Managed to make that work just barely. That was silly. Whatever. And Fischl and Corinne. Do this again, and cool. Oh, Hytham team is a little better for this one for a number of reasons, but the big thing is that Shinobu's ring is really good at applying Electro to the invisible construct, because the big thing is that when it turns invisible, it queers all elements from itself, which is more than a bit annoying at times. And it, it is what it is, but I... Okay. Thanks, and just like that, and let's take down this guy, maybe, and cool, cool, and ooh, alright, thanks, cool, and can I, ooh, what can I, oh, come on, alright, and I, hmm, can I, cool, alright, and just take you down, I, okay, uh, alright, thanks, I, we should be fine here, maybe, I'm not quite sure, I, okay, cool, I, some healing of a sort might have been nice, but we should be fine. Thank you, thank you, we should focus on the big guy over here. Most annoying of them all, and just... Oh, well, are you gonna go up, or are you gonna spread your wings? You are gonna spread your wings. Well, actually, not like I would have wanted you to, so I... Uh, Sewers might be a good idea, but no, 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 not like this. Thanks, thanks, I will. Use the ender... What? Huh? Oh my goodness. That's actually horrible. Hmm. Might be good to maybe try using Shinobu's E a little earlier in the rotation to try to get some healing on the heater or something. This this one is tight, is the thing. The other thing is also just no particles seem to be produced until a bit later when it starts taking damage. And that bosses with long startups are actually the devil. Actually, the devil. Oh, we walked. We unlocked. We unlocked out. Okay. So the first time we did it, we got a very sudden. Uh, we'll see. Which one did I use this time? Well, whatever. I'll live. Do this as soon as possible, and we're not getting hardly anything back. Well, whatever. Yeah, see, just nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, and can I... What can I... Oh, come on. Really? Really? You... Okay. That kind of worked, but I... Ah, oh, please. And we did not get... We didn't get any broken component energy. What? Okay. That's really nonsense. The HP one might be good. I'm not quite sure. We... The skill damage... Probably isn't going to be as impactful as I might like, so... Well, we'll see. I all right, and one, and two, and oh, what, what could I? Where are you, mother? Okay, thank you, and all right, and mm, I just give me more energy, you mother of a. Okay, whatever. Uh huh, and this is just taser, whatever. I'll live, I'll live, I'll live. I'm blocking. 
unlocking out as badly as we did before is... How did that even... Come on. This is just ridiculous. Okay, whatever. Thank you, and cool, cool, and I can... What? What in the... Uh, where are you? Where is the... Okay. Literally, where is... Come on, I... I don't know why this one is... This attempt is going as badly as it is. It actually makes no sense. I should be able to make this kind of work, but... I, uh, thanks. 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 At least we can see what's more in the other half, but I just... Really do not appreciate how badly that was done. I... Might like to try something else and run Alhaitham on first half, maybe, and go through with a team suited specifically for third chamber. It would be really stupid, and I would really hate it, but it might be necessary, especially since this is as AoE focus as it is. Okay, cool. Cool. And just out of the way, and cool. It's got to stay in a place that gets you all to go away from each other. And I mean, getting close, getting close, and just avoid hitting the. Okay, and cool. Thanks, alright, and cool. Cool, 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 cool. Nice, and Nigita, Nigita, and can I. Wait, what? You. Really, really? I just. The damage that the Consecrated Beast deal is just. Way out of line, and I can. What? What? Okay, well, at least. Got some healing. Because there's a woman in it? Yeah, I... People people just say words these days. They don't mean anything anymore. Okay. Yeah, I... Mm, I think... It is... Important to notice that it does seem a bit more like a girl game, quote-unquote, than previous Zeldas, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing, and it still looks fun. Because the big... Well, it... That's kind of a silly argument, because even through all that, the protagonist was still Link. It's... Okay. The big thing is just... It is it is probably targeting a different audience, but you know... That is a, it is, for better or worse, just a normal thing for devs to try to target different and previously unaddressed audiences. Uh, it, there are more important things in this world to get mad about. And I- oh, come on, I just- This team is just incredibly poorly suited. I need to make an entirely new team for this chamber. Or I- well, I didn't need to quit. I was really close. If I had a better first half run, I could have salvaged it, but... Uh, uh, uh. People were joking about naming it Legend of Link because Zelda is the protagonist, which would have been funny. But... I think... It, it's... complicated and a bit weird, and what I mean by that is... People do have a right, whoever they are, to want more things that are targeted towards them and Maybe not fewer things that are targeted towards other people, but, you know, people generally, generally prefer when things are targeted towards them. The issue is that there are a lot of people here who, again, are getting unhealthy, very toxic, and a lot of it is just... They commit a lot of fundamental attribution errors in that they assume that it's done out of some sort of insidious political agenda when it's done in pursuit of profit. The entire reason it's being done is that they're making a kind of, you know, a girl game with less of a focus on combat. And a female protagonist is to appeal to a female audience who... You know, there, there are some arguments people have had, you know, why are you appealing to people who are probably never going to buy your game? But Zelda in particular has always been, you know, a game with a relatively large female target audience compared to you know, other games that might be in its category in terms, you know action-adventure type game, so it's very normal, very natural, it's not, it's not abnormal, you know, even criticizing things like that for being quote-unquote abnormal is a bit fraught, the entire point is it's a logical business move, they're not doing it specifically to spite you because they think you're 
I don't know, toxic and don't deserve things made for you. It's it's a business move first and foremost, which is... Again, it's the fundamental attribution error that they're usually making. The big thing, the big thing beyond just, you know, the fact that they tend to be kind of toxic is... That they literally don't understand why these things are done. That if you have a problem with it, you should be taking it up with the profit motive, not with quote-unquote women. It is, or Nintendo. It's whatever. Like I said, I... I like to say that discourse is the eighth deadly sin. I try to stay out of it. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And... Cool, cool, cool. This... This is, again, my strongest team. It is and remains my strongest team. Except for maybe the Arlequino one, which I don't think would actually work all that well in this abyss anyway. It is what it is. Come on, come on, and Shinobu does not... Shinobu does have her burst back, that is good. I... Uh -huh. okay, cool, and just... Which one? Which Mario game? And just... Okay, there we go, which means we can put that on them before we... Oh, come on. I, well, whatever. Okay. And... Oh, super... Oh, oh, partner in time. I thought you were talking about Super Princess Peach. I do find it very, very amusing that, you know, two times... Two times so far they've said, let's make a girl game version, quote-unquote, of... A popular franchise we have with the main princess as the protagonist, and they have a funny fairy mascot, and they use, I mean, funny fairy-like companion, and they use a stick to fight. There were... And I think it is a question of perception, but there were a lot of people who criticized it, if I recall correctly, because it... The entire deal was, you know, just revolved around Peach's emotions as her source of power, which a lot of people saw as somewhat misogynistic, and also just did not really focus on Peach as a character, because all the lore the kids the game had, quote-unquote, was about Perry the Parasol. Yeah, that's exactly it, that. You know, it's wrong to say that, you know, you have to like such and such because it's a stereotype. But it's about as wrong to say you're not allowed to like such and such because it would be playing into stereotypes. But I think a lot of it is also... Other Mario characters don't really get lore for them anyway. The closest thing was honestly just making Bowser Jr. as a kid for Bowser. Mario and Luigi, very deliberately... Honestly, I feel like Wario has more lore than most of the other characters there. But he also isn't even really a Mario character anymore. He has his own franchise. It... It feels like a category here to me. Okay, cool. Three, and... Alright, cool. Just swirl, swirl. Bonjou, and Nubia. The garlic? Or... And can I... Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, the big thing that I'm trying to say is that it doesn't strike me as some sort of specifically discriminatory move that Peach does not really have a war about her in the Peach game. Because we've had many more Mario games, and Mario is still deliberately a very sort of blank character. He's... And a lot of it is... He, he's deliberately more of an actor than a character, which is why there are, you know, the theories about Mario th Mario Brothers 3 being a stage play. Oh, oh! As in the new one, Showtime? It... It did seem pretty interesting. I did find it very funny that they were, you know, legitimately incredibly hush-hush as st the studio. Yeah, but... There was actually, as you may or may not know, a Princess Peach game before that called Super Princess Peach, which came out a while ago on the Nintendo DS. And that was fair. I th I guess the question is... I thought about trying it out, but... I just wondered whether people might be interested to see it. But it did look interesting. It... 
it actually reminded me a bit of... The big thing is, I'd love to do DS games on stream eventually, but one, my backlog is huge. Two, I feel like I need to find a way to plug in. I gotta find my old 3DS and maybe send it in to get a capture card modded, if that's even still done. So the big thing is that trying to emulate it on computer without access to the actual touchscreen would be utter hell. But yeah, that could be fun. I will consider it. As I consider many things. But... Uh, mm -hmm. Let's just... And now we got our fav prop, and that did not quite work. Let's just... Oh, but we... That was... No, that... Oh, we still got the spread. Okay, cool. Let's... Are you gonna use your... The big thing is we're not worrying about time here right now. Oh, yeah. One time, and I'm not proud of this. Many, many, many years ago, I stole my cousin's DS. Actually just took it. So that I could try out Emerald because he had it on a GBA cart. I was actually a horrible kid. Just downright awful. I'm serious. And so let's just do this. And can we get the Fab proc? Okay, cool. Yeah, I... Yeah, we, we get along still. He's actually shown up on stream a couple of times, but it just... I... I think... Spoiled might be a little mean to myself, but I definitely, I had my issues. And I, how is, come on, come on. I'm so little damage is not showing that, well, whatever. Okay, and when are you gonna, well, whatever. I'm doing this as slowly as possible so I can, yeah, this should be okay. This should be workable. And, oh, nearly dead. I wish she's healing herself a little, but I, oh, come on, you mongrel, you absolute mongrel. Okay. Yeah, I like- I like to think I- Well, the important part about self-awareness is actually making a change, and I do like to think that I've gotten better. You know, exercise left for the viewer. And... Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and... Out of the way, and how many more do I need to take down? We should get a few more. This team is still incredibly good. Just utterly ridiculous. And yeah, I could have gotten three stars, but... It'll be easier with the teams I've got right now. The big thing is making sure I've got enough energy for the final chamber. Okay. Cool. And we don't have to worry too much about application here. This is just pure damage. Come on, come on. And just take this. Yeah. And I'm not stealing handhelds either. Which... Because yeah, the big thing is that I would love to do... To stream a playthrough of... Oh, uh, oh, come on, just... Oh, okay, there we go, we were almost in a bad position. Kid Icarus Uprising at some point, which is... He was one of my absolute favorite games back as a kid. But especially since back when I played it before, I was not nearly good enough to actually, you know, beat it. Well, I beat it, but on really low difficulties. So I wonder if, you know, playing it now, I would be able to have a... bit more impressive performance. Who knows, really. But, uh, either way, it would be really interesting. The big thing is that I would need to find or figure out a way to get the touchscreen working so that everything would be displayed. Because that is the main thing about the game, is that it's very touchscreen heavy, and without it, you wouldn't see the subtitles for the dialogue, you wouldn't see aiming and stuff. It is just a very different, very interesting game. I like it a lot. And put that down, and cool. Thanks. Alright. How many more? We should have enough for the last one. Yep. Have to go for a standard... Yeah, it is a very, very fun game. There's no doubt about that. But it... can be a little... It's a complicated game at times. The big thing is that it's a rail shooter in its aerial phases and a different kind of shooter than the others, and... Let me just focus on the... Come on. And we can get this just to get the energy back. And this should make Final Chamber a relative breeze. This is the hardest time I've had in Abyss in a while. I'm not making funny gimmick teams using banner characters. I'm making teams that actually beat things. And I'm still having trouble. It... It's certainly something. And, oh, we don't have that. Well, whatever. Oh, wait. Shimabimbo, and we got all that. Cool. 
take this down. And come on, come on, just use some of that. Some of that, and if we turn this right in, oh, we are in a bad position. Well, that actually worked just fine, more or less. Yeah, I, I am worried, more than a little. But we can use that, get a bit more of that back. And we're dealing very, very capable damage. That's the big thing. And just three and four, and we can get that. Throw a little bit more time in there, and cool. We're on the right side of the wall, which is good, and cool. Take, take, and a bit more, and there we go, and yeah. Your Hytham team just makes that primal construct cry. Oh, was that the... Was it a game, or was it the training video? Because that was a Nick Robinson video, right? When I think about Nick Robinson, all I can think of is... Well, he also did the Hatsune Miku Domino's Pizza app one. And he also did finding out what Microsoft Binbo's was. Yeah, I, I think I saw a bit of that video, but I don't think I finished it. I... There are a lot of things. A lot of things. And of course it's real Of course it's real viral. Yeah, Miku. Miku. And ooh, my... I... Huh, huh. Okay. Well, Alright, I'll live. I will live. And cool, you're right here. We can just swirl that and send in Baiju. And cool. Shield should be decent. Just gotta keep cutting them, we just gotta keep kiting them and. Spin to win, spin to win strategy, spin to win strategy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is really, really good. But the big thing is that many long years ago, Domino's Pizza announced an app that would have Miku basically sing when you scanned a QR code on your box. And I'm not even sure it actually ever came out, but either way, it ended up as very, very lost media. And so the entire video was just about finding out what happened to it and whether it still work again. And I think we managed to get it to work again. I'm pretty sure. And oh my goodness, just stupid, stupid constipated beasts. I refuse to call them by their actual name. They do not deserve that much respect. Okay. And I do honestly think the way I'm going to have to do this is going to be running. Uh, I killed seven. That's good. And all right, there we go. And one more, one more, and boom, and just newbie fury supremacy, newbie fury supremacy. Okay, so what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do for the first chamber? I one thing I could maybe uh, it would still suck because gotta hit them both as much as possible. Finding a way to swirl hydro will be crucial. I wasn't talking about the headphones, I was saying that the new Viet Farina team did really, really well. As you would expect, because, you know, they are married. I didn't say that, I'm sorry. Okay. But... <laughs> Let me keep looking. Keep looking. <laughs> keep on looking. So right now I'm leveling up Diona's set. Keep on look. Okay, right. This is actually Chevros's set. Okay, keep on keep on shaking your head. Call me a name or something. Insult me. Say imply something imply something negative about me. Go ahead, I dare you. Well, the big thing is is that this is Chevros's set, and it is basically just die on the set, but better. It's got actual crit, which is going to help with. Procking fab, and it's got how much energy recharge on the pieces? Let me see. But I finally got Traverse's pieces through. Yeah, it's got a little more energy recharge, too. Well, you know, we bully each other enough. I'm nice to you sometimes. You can be nice to me sometimes. It won't end the world. Hmm. What, what do you mean by over? What do you mean by over? Okay, so what kind of goblet is she using right now? What's Donna using? I think it might have been Pale Flame. No, it was Noblesse. Either way, this is Chevros's. Wait, was it pure Noblesse? Was it all Noblesse? Let me, wait, let me see. Yeah, this is all Noblesse pieces, right, okay. And th her set is entirely Noblesse pieces. Then we go back to Diona's set over here, and 
One of these days I'll feel like leveling Kaveh, today is not that day. Kind of funny how somewhat similar the Paleflame Mask is. Not that one. Paleflame Mask is to... The Noblesse Mask. Right! Gaming was boring. Lenny's March. I'll say eventually I want Crimson Witch set because that's better on him when you have higher constellations. Okay, well, maybe in that case, I should also start assuming you're being nice when you're actually being sarcastic. And that way, I can always be wrong. And then you can always cor always correct me and be even more smugly self-satisfied. I think that would be great. I'm not even being sarcastic there. So you should assume I'm being sarcastic, too. Okay, peace. Okay, so, I think... I'll hide them on the first part, and then... The big thing is that having all high them to just destroy this first half would maybe make the second half work better. The big thing is, I gotta figure out some way to swirl. Okay, don't worry, I'm almost there. Figure out a way to swirl Hydro off of the Electors right before they transform. Because that would enable me to just obliterate their shields. Then everything after that would be relatively child's play. Hmm. This is this is a good team, actually. If this works, I might actually try the second chamber with it. Just to see if it could go through. If I really wanted to be funny, I could actually get a refund have gotten a refund for Wolf Fang, but poor Clorinda, honestly. She worked well in the last abyss, but that was the last patch's rotation. This is supposed to be her abyss. Well, hers, all high thumbs, it's still all high thumbs. Every abyss is all high thumbs abyss. It never stops being all high thumbs abyss. Just like it never stops being Farina and Nuviat's abyss. Good. Okay. Then, and then, and then. Just like this, there we go. Every day is all high thumb day. Especially his birthday. In that case, it's a double all high thumb day. Which, I guess, would you have two all high thumbs then? It's kind of scary, actually. Oh, well, whatever. Come on, come on, go over, get that, and check this out, and probably actually see if I can... Mm -mm, can I? See if I can go for this, and slightly increase my damage. That way, and come on, oh, well, I did not quite hit. Did not quite hit, and we have a couple more hits to pull off on you, and cool. We should be back in terms of rotations, and there we are, there we are. Take you out, and cool. Thanks, and just do what you got, and out of the way for the sake of our damage, and okay, right. Well, we managed to switch even if we did get hit, so that's nice and all. See how well this one works, and cool. Ooh, I, all right. Ooh, well, that worked really not well. Okay, cool. See how well the next part works, and this, despite it being stupid, this works. It's kind of worked. Let's just do that, and cool, did we? Did smack you out of the way. Drakes are close enough that I don't think I could have afforded to try to switch like I did, and cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and alright, and there you are, Anata. Shintaku, Shinokose, and do this, and once all these are here, we will do the thing, and alright, there we go. This should be good, just stay out of the way of all of you, and do this, and we should be able to... Kill some spreads, and oh, did we kill the animal? I think we killed the stupid evil animal. Now we have a good amount of time for the next chamber, and... Can we make this happen? Can we make this happen? I... Big thing is, I'm not even sure I should... Use Kazu's burst initially, so you might not get it back. I could use it for the first part, but definitely not for the I don't even need to use the burst, because especially since it wouldn't even... Well, we'll see what happens. So we should immediately run, we should immediately run through, and swirl over here, and... Thank you, thank you, and... Oh, I did not mean to do that, never mind, okay, whatever. Cool, 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 and... Alright, and... Did I... Still the that, whatever, okay, cool. Never mind, and... Okay. For are you, and... Die, 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 and... Thanks, cool, and okay, that hardly even got you together, whatever. Cool, cool, cool. Nice, and alright, and cool. And now we swirl, 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 and immediately, and there we are. We should be able to 
Hydro Swirl, Hydro Swirl. Nice, we did it. We actually managed to make it work. Okay, this should be actually vile. In a good way, in a good way. Vile in a good way. And I, okay, but I, oh, it hit the wrong thing and I didn't get the, I didn't get any particles and I didn't get any droplets and I'm now I'm actually in for it. I'm really in for it now. All right, this is good. It's actually really, really good though. Okay, cool. Now we just do this as quickly as possible. Swirl you over here, try to make this work, and we should be able to do it. This should be what we needed, which is kind of silly, but as long as it works, as long as it works, we will live, we'll live. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, and take that, and we'll come on. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four. Finally! Finally! Okay. That Kazuburst Swirling Hydro was the only reason that worked. That was incredibly clutch. I... Let's try this team on here and see how well it works. Just to uh, make sure I can do stuff. Yeah, okay, cool. And, oh, Nahida did not get what she wanted. Well, whatever, I'll, I'll give. Okay, cool. Then we'll just over here and get some reactions to probably, hopefully, trigger a face transition. I don't know for sure. And we should be close. Can we, can we, there we are, there we are, which means, thanks, and just like that, no damage there, but you'll flee, oh, you won't flee, it's actually more interesting, okay, cool, and take you out, maybe, don't run away, I'm begging you, and of course you ran away, I hate you so much, okay, cool, and dodge up, oh, we didn't successfully dodge, but there's not enough damage to really worry about anyway, and really, really, you're kidding, come on, you mongrel. Well, that should be that, and... Okay! It's both. It's both, because the only reason he had... The big thing is that... Cause on a Hydro team... It... It was probably done because of overworld stuff, such as a lot of things like rain and just standing in water, meaning that... Hydro Swirls could be a bit more, more overpowered than they actually are, but... Hydro Swirls are unique in that they don't do AoE damage. When you swirl someone who has Hydro on them... Deals Hydro damage to them, but it only applies Hydro to things around it. It doesn't do hydro, extra Hydro damage. Which means that if you're having Anima on a Hydro team, it's for VV Shred, or in case it causes a bonus. Or if you really need Application, Application. We did need the Application there. But the damage was coming from Furina Nuvia and Baju's healing. Either way, this team is just... The team has incredible synergy. The team has incredible synergy. And... Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you, and... Okay, this should be pretty good. And out of the way, out of the way, and just like that. Swirl, and all right. Well, this should be fine anyway, honestly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I... Oh, come on. I... This could have gone better, but I imagine that this team should still work wonders. It really does not have problems. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks, thanks. And take you out, take you out, and what else is here? What else is here? Just what an incredible team. What an incredibly busted team. And we just put that in, get a bit more healing and all. Big thing is, if I go for a full Eon Kaza, I literally will not be able to actually use all the droplets. Some of them will expire before the end of it, which is a problem. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, and there we go, there we are, and healing really does just help deal with the corrosion for sure, and alright, we got that, and swirl, send it by you, and alright, it, this team will never not be meta, will never not be meta, oh, at least doing Fontaine stuff, it, could be no longer metal later. And somehow we got fire going. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks, thanks. And yeah, this team is just my way. You know, I could go for the final chamber, but I used up all of my energy there, so I beat that chamber of this team already. So I need to do what I usually like to do, but forgot to do, which is to put the characters I used on showcase. That means is it's been a while since I used that Geo team. I just forgot before. First half was the good old Alhytham team. 
Nahida, Yewan, Old Hyphen, and then, of course, my favorite team, for now, Big Unga Bunga Laser Team, Big Comet Azure from Elden Ring Team, and I can't even attempt Imaginary in the theater right now. Come on. Okay. Well, let's collect our rewards before I forget about it. I do have, basically, a month remaining, but... Yeah, there we go. Here we are. And that means that for Sigwin right now, we have... How much saved up? We've got almost 156. We've got 155 rolls. Over there, and... This would turn to 43 if we spent it all. Oh, that's Star Glitter, so that's 198 rolls saved up right now. So even if Sigwin took me to hard pity both times, I would still be able to guarantee her. That said, you know, besides being a collector and wanting to use everyone on fun and relevant teams, I... Oh, I hate to say it, but Sigwin is kind of a Sigaloos. To the point that a lot of people thought she might be on standard based on her kit. She, she, she deserved better. She did deserve better. I don't hate her as a character, but her kit is weak to the point that TGS did not even really bother making any kind of pre-build guide for her. Holy Ver, he did wait. She, he, she is a second patch character, but it... It was very much a sort of, you know, the, the crowd goes mild kind of thing. I could use Geo, or I could just shoot. I could just shoot the crystal. Get one more for the daily about mining, so... It... I don't know, it feels to me like her charge attack costs less stamina. I guess it would make some sense, because you don't really ever use it. Okay. So, the big thing to do now would be... There are a few more TCG challenges to do, and then we'll be... Big chilling. Huh. A couple more tavern challenges, my daily things. And then I think... Among other things, there's not that much there, but I never did clear out, well, talk to the people in Petrichor. There are a few chests in this area. Not that many, but there are chests there. The big thing is that, even though there aren't chests here, the terrain is actually surprisingly detailed, surprisingly interesting. Got a lot of four sigils and a lot of somewhat interesting enemy encounters around. They just don't have chests. I feel like it would be interesting to poke around, especially because I am the one guy who really, really likes Samaru Desert and wished there was more of it. Which is why I really liked, even if they didn't really add any chess, the fact that they added the Temple of Silence as an instance to area over here, which it... Well, to be fair, you don't see the Sanctuary Source Thun unless you zoom in too, and... They do have different icons, but slightly similar. I do like how they have different unique icons for certain locations you can teleport to. Do you find it funny that you can teleport to the Crocs when you still would only really be useful for Beto Hangout? I really did enjoy Toma Hangout. It was a lot of fun. I think <sighs> the first five are interesting and amusing. But they're meant to be funny and, quite frankly, more like a date than anything else. But... Because of that, they don't say that much about the character and don't really have a lot of the way of interesting events. But the Toma one, which is the only one past the initial thought that I've done yet, is the Hangouts have kind of been on the back burner for a number of reasons. It's... If they made them a bit more canonical in the sense of... The branching pathways make it very hard for them to confirm what happened and what didn't. But the Rhythm of Game event last patch actually alluded to that whole dog sweater knitting thing that Toma did in his Hangout event, which was pretty cool. That said, that might have been in a character description story too anyway, because I don't... I need to go through and read those things eventually, it's just there, there are so many of them. So many of them. Yeah, I guess it's back to the cat's tail with me right now. But, like I said a little bit before, before Elden Ring in the evening, I'm going to have to do a sort of emergency short stream tomorrow, because... This event ends on Sunday night, so I couldn't do it on Monday, but it also... Also... Does not have everything available until tomorrow, which means... 
I will have to do a two-stream day, much to my chagrin. It is interesting, because this is basically kind of a knockoff Toho event. Oh, I... I never did test run. So that's free stuff. Tabletop troops, strongest found today. Probe too deeply talking about the fake D&D. &D. I do find it really, really funny that... In order to have Corrine into more actual character traits, and they made her really into D&D. &D. The universe's equivalent of D&D. &D, which I find very, very funny. It's a good choice. It's not a bad choice. Do I have... Let me see. Is he did battle up? He did battle is up. Oh, I... Always a fast action. Two fewer. Well, because of the one profile quote from Navia, but... That was in one quote about her in Navia's character teaser on Twitter. Which is... Very, very different from having it be the basis for her entire story quest. And I'm glad that they made it the basis for her entire story quest. Because it made it one of the more fun and interesting ones, but... You're getting fact-checked. Okay, so... Where is... I want to go to... In Poisson. Poisson. Oh, the Spina base. Ooh, that's a far scroll. Okay, and where is... Plenarmonia? So where in... Ha. Huh. Well, that's not it, so where is... It should be here. Okay. Let's be a trap. Expert at... Let's see. People of Poisson. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. And... Don't see a mention here. They were talking about the Marshall Say Hunters, but the actual ones, not... The game. Yeah. So the first time they mentioned the gameplay stuff was... Navia's teaser on Twitter. To the best of my memory. So it might not be there, it might be somewhere else, but it was not in the part of the Archon Quest where... Clorinda actually talks. Okay. No shame, I forget things too. The important thing is accepting... Accepting the facts as they are, one way or the other. To misquote John Maitre Keynes, because he never actually said this. When the facts change, so do I. So, there are six more of these to get, but before that, I should probably try to pick up... We could try to pick up some of the skins. Oh, but... Mm, this is something... I... The question is, what kind of team am I going to run? <sighs> Quick swap teams are good if you do something based around reactions, but... Well... I think... I, I, I was not trying to guilt trip you for that. I think, I think we both are aware of that. Maybe. Okay. Let's go to our... The question is, what kind of team would I want to run for heated battle mode? Uh, KQM has not put out another new TCG decks, new TCG deck for a while. It's TCG deck list. Huh. Set up. Figure out something good. Okay, fair. As long as you enjoy it, I suppose. Okay, Genshin, 4.7, TCG deck. I'm going to... Scorpion, Serpent, Narwhal, Opep. Two new deck lists. Discard meta. 
Discord meta is here. PvE. It's not the same as PvP. All Devouring Narwhal, Furina, and Kave. Oh. It could be worth trying it. The action cards are not played. Kusava and... Action card played, but it's... <sighs> we wouldn't be using action cards. Omni Dyson. Switching is always a fast action. I just wonder what would be good here. The big thing is that I can't really use freeze. Overload is not going to do all that much. Disruption won't be all that relevant either. So I'm just thinking. Oh no, these are they're preset deck. They're preset decks. Okay. They just Oh, they've been using preset decks for a while then. Okay. At this point, they don't even mention not using presets. I mean, they don't even mention having to use a preset because they just always use presets. Funny. Pure opponent. It wouldn't be very nice for me to pure my opponent. Okay. So who then is Narwhal and... I feel like the Serpent is okay. No, it could be good, but it depends on who I... Zinyan could work. Zinyan could work. Maybe. It's tough. I... feel like both of these could work. Just getting more Bone Crunchers energy blocks using the personal. It's an idea. Crunchers energy block and... Uh, if I just do full monster team, that could work. I am... Yeah, they don't really have a consistent team idea. Oh, but if I don't have any disruption, I don't want to have a way to force Nuviet out. That's the thing. Oh, this is where things get tough. I... Huh. This could be useful. It's basically a free Starfall shower. I'm thinking. More card draw would be good, too. I will try this. Let's just use one of these. And, yep, there we go. Lots of blocks. And then this is... Bone Cruncher's energy block and place it into your hands. If you play, draw one card and create one. Oh, that's good. That's really good. should actually use that then. Tarmaru's savings. Tarmaru enraged. But I... Let me see. Let's just use this. Okay. Cool. And what are we going to discard? Oh, we got rid of Taramaru. Rest in peace. We should probably switch out. Probably. Ha. Huh. Uh, interesting. I'm going to switch then and see what I can do. That Fatal Fulmination. One Bone Cruncher's Energy Block and... Guess who can't do a single thing? Well, I... Oh, but right, ran we discard. A month will die, but we didn't discard anything, we just did that. Let's try this. One bone crunchers go for the stinging spine, and we're already getting some stuff. That's not good. This is good. There we have it, and guess what? Guess what? You can use that burst. Pretty much immediately. This might be vile. This might be kind of vile. Okay, well, it's in my round. I already feel kind of guilty about this one. Now, there is good synergy between these block ones, but I... Oh, but you've already got the burst equipped. Bone Cruncher's energy block after you play. One elemental die. So basically, just the beasts are meant to have really good synergy with each other, but... What do I... Mm, eh, this could be useful. We'll see what works. Let's just take this out. Hurt you a little. Oh, but I should have played this to get another block. Well, we'll live. Taking down decently. Discard though is kind of an issue. Just a shield, and there we are. Oh, and some of that. As long as we can make sure that they can't really take advantage of reactions on me. Should be chilling. Hmm. 
So in that case, I huh. If I want to do some tuning action, eh, spamming burst would be cool, but thunder vor trap discarded when created, but we didn't discard any. Uh huh. Okay, that was maybe an issue. I what if I switch and yeah, that's a fast action. So what I'm hearing is, let's spin. Bits, Rolling Skull, draw one card for each Bone Cruncher's energy block in your hand. Two cards per round, and I... Three different elemental types. This could be good. Two such dice. I... I'm gonna go for this. And equip an artifact, and two more dice. This is actually kind of evil. Two Animo damage, and draw one Bone Cruncher's energy block, baby. There we go. Cool. Oh, but you can only play one per round anyway. That's the thing. This could be good. Uh, double the damage at once. So if you switch out to someone, we could literally just spam you down, most likely, which would be fun. Discard one. Mental dive. We'll use that to play Arrhenius. We, I mean, weep, Weeping Will of the Lake. There we go, we should be able to use our burst next round. Okay, go ahead, do something. Switch to somebody and do something. And what are you gonna do? You're gonna try to hit me? You're probably gonna try to hit me, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, that's all you did, huh? The big thing is, I can literally just insta-kill Jinyan next time. It's gonna be disgusting. Oh, but no, because of the... Are we going to get another energy block? We are not getting another energy block right now. Well, I... Oh. Huh. Huh. Nice to figure out how to draw one, but as of now, we'll... Deal. What is up with that shield? It's ludicrous. Well, I... Huh. Score it all and probably power up your little then. Maybe. I... I feel like I should play a bit... Energy, elemental burst increase, that could be useful. I am in some kind of trouble. Wusu could be good, maybe. The big thing is, let's just do that. Damage dealt once, but that's still really just, wow. Oh, but you've got a bloom seed, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Something gonna die? Well, the big thing is, we're getting a lot of stuff there. Should get some energy, presumably. Maybe. I should have played that already. You gonna kill me? You're probably going to kill me. Yeah, I should have put Wusu down. I should have seen that coming. If this is the end of me, I won't be happy about that. Well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do now? Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Fine by me, I guess. Should play Wusu and then maybe use one to transform. If I use Ravaging Devourer, I could be in a decent position. True damage and piercing damage, and... There we are, there we are. Okay. Cool. I really do love the weird gimmick that the Consecrated Beasts have going on, but it's interesting. Uh, the shield might be troublesome. And the shadow's gone, isn't it? The shadow is completely gone. Okay. How much are you gonna deal to me? I ooh, it's not good. Best of fire says no more than what? Oh wow. I huh? Okay. This is certainly something. All right. Wow. I. So Zinian DPS is the way to go. Okay. I could just forfeit, but it wouldn't count as a match complete. Yeah, I... It's a silly gimmick. Frankly, the big thing is that just Narwhal does not seem to be nearly as good as I expected. And that kills me because of the shield. That's just about... She's actually broken. Actually insanely bust. Wow. 
So that's why they focus on getting Zinian over literally everything else. Now I see. Okay. Well. That was a little embarrassing. You know, if all spells, I can just lose three times. And I'll get what I need. Hmm. Come on. A cat? A cat? Okay. Hmm. Send you in. Hmm. Then maybe something like Kirara and Yunjin. Yeah. The important part is survival. Okay. There we go. Okay, cool. Let me... Hmm. Something fell down off my table. Little muffin chunk. That's sad. You know, go ahead. Just don't select a character card. What happens if the match time's out? Hmm. Well, so be it. Poor muffin, yeah. Well, it's just a tiny piece. They... Don't have all that much structural integrity. I swear. If he was just waiting to try to put me on edge. Oh, but they have borders if we have that skin or not. Yeah. It deserved better, maybe. Well, we're we're gonna try to kill him. I mmm that's not that good. Oh, well, mm -mm. Let me just see. Damage or is healed. Uh, that's not good either. I... Hmm. Let me think. Big thing is... Getting the shield up as soon as possible would be nice. Hmm. Let me think. That's good. That's good. But I really want... I want Zinian's skill and Yunjin's. Well, actually, Yunjin could probably take advantage of her own buff. The big thing is that Zinian does. can do double damage if there are no cards in your hand. No more than one. And her skill also just makes Flying Quad Formation do massive damage. Hmm. We gotta use this. Okay. Cool. Glacial. So what do we want to use next, then? Honestly, probably... Lucio, Iron Tongue, and... Yeah. Move, we're gonna switch. Well, first, we'll, I guess we'll do... Vibin... Junior Zod... You... You... Then, oh, Setaria... Oh, that could be useful. But I will need that. Okay. You can use one thing on somebody and... If you'll hit me, then I can trigger burn and be really funny about that. Hmm. What you gonna do, Rio boy? With Thesley. Oh, but right, it's a fast action. I may be stupid. Oh, but discards. That, that's not needed. Okay, cool. Keep on going. And good old discard. Hmm. I feel like Sataria could be kinda useful. Big thing is that Junior Zod is might be unnecessary. Maybe. What I could try maybe is actually switching over to Kirara. Using the Cardamons or something. That's only once per rounds. I'll think about it. Then putting in Satadia and then using another burst. Well, Livin will be able to take that die, which will allow maybe some ramping. It's possible. Okay. Either way, the switching energy, I could get another burning off, I think. As her burst does deal. Four dentro damage. Hmm. Cat grass cardamom. 
Oh, oh, but mm, we don't have any benefit specifically to discarding is the thing. I could use Yunjin just to get rid of one of those and then put Sataria down. It's an idea. Big thing is, switching is always a fast action. Use this. Okay. Well, we'll see. Switch over and... Oh, this is actually going to be a bit of a problem. I... I might get a die for something. I was sights to see one less once per round. Yeah, if I switch, it would cost zero, so we'll be able to just get what we have. There we go, cool. Let's keep this burning up. Okay. Do some piercing. I'm sure that they didn't really expect this, but... Ooh, that superconductor is nasty. Oh, but I'm gonna have to... Do a bit of tuning. Okay, cool. Let's use the burst. Here we go. Big physical. Alright, discard that. And... Oh, I guess the question is... Zero cards, draw one card. Oh, but... Aha! Uh -huh. That's act Satari actually works well, so you can have... One card in your hand. And Sunfire is good. I could probably take out... Someone immediately on the start of next round, but... Yeah, we did that. We went and we did that. What you gonna do? Oh, but oh, are you just are they just gonna try to burst me down or, or what? Hmm, it's possible. I'm a little bit worried. Oh, what? 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 Oh, all right. It's not good. Hmm, and I can't switch. I can't do a thing. You're gonna kill my Zinyan. I don't like that. That said, I could do well with Flying Cloud, flying cloud for Nation. Why are you getting so many dice back? Okay. Oh, well, what? Okay. Go ahead. Hmm. And you should. Can't rest card among two action cards. I've played no action cards. That is constraining them, which is nice, but I'm worried. Uh, okay. And can you deal one more hit? Are you gonna kill me or something? Okay, you're not gonna kill me, but... Why is he... Is he really that strong? Really? Okay. Alright. Huh. I... this worries me. Worries me significantly. Okay. Hmm. Well, whatever. There's just no mercy. Hmm. I... Let's do some tuning. That... Uh... We'll tune that. End phase, heal for 1 HP. Yeah, we'll get another card that way, so... It'll be somewhat useful. Let's put a shield down and hopefully survive. Alright. You're definitely gonna find a way to kill me, right? Presumably. Hmm, okay. Gonna globe me? Yeah, that... went about as well as it could've. Hmm, okay. Alright. Then I... Hmm. Not great. Not great. Mm -hmm. This could be useful. But I... Hmm. Oh? Need that next round, but... Prepare the Spear Flourish. Oh, discard or use one card for two and deals plus one damage. Okay, cool. Kokomi? Kokomi? Okay. Hmm. But I really just... How is he as good as he is? They just keep giving him stuff. And the, or shall say, damage or is healed. Low supervision. 
Hmm. That's actually awful. Yeah, I... Literally, what do I do against this team? This wasn't even a team, it was literally just Rathesley. Why did they make him this girl? It's actually horrible. Okay. Be careful. I hear there are lots of wolves in Italy around this time of year. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess what we do is we just... Use Rathesley, pray that we get... Pray that we get his items. Yeah, because I sent them there. To you. Okay. If this... Okay, they did not select Rathesley. That's good. So I will... And this should be useful. That should be fine. A lot of wolves! I sent wolves to Italy. So they would track you down and make you pay for your crimes. Divine Punishment. It's okay. I'll only just send more wolves now. Maybe you could even tame them and send them back at me. Honestly, that'd be funny. I... Mm, maybe we'll go for this. Okay. So we found out that the narwhal sucks because it's really gimmicky. I'm doing my part to help save the environment in Italy by sending wolves. Okay. Come on. Come on. Ooh, there we go. That's good. Okay. Got more chasse. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all I can really more chasse. Hmm. What else are we gonna get? Patient support. Two less ones per round. I. Hmm. Let me think. Boars in the middle of Rome. Oh, that's cool. So the faster we beat you up, the better. That's what I'm hearing. Let's use this. And oh, oh no, you went first. Okay. Oh, my. ouch. Mm. Okay then. Okay then. Just Marshall say one elemental dying. Chilling penalty, one less, one piercing damage. Finalize for two HP. Alright. I will. Damage or is healed. Yeah, well this works, what they can do with Sino. They're probably trying to just take me out first thing. Are you doing a heal or a swirl or a Ah Storm Zone. Okay, cool. Hmm. Well, alright. Let's go for it. You're in chilling penalty, so. Just use this. Thank you, thank you. All right, cool. Got a bit of healing. Ah, so a Yunjin could work pretty well here. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Go ahead, hit me, or something. Maybe. That takes. Jaja. Jaja. All right. So what that means to me is. Well, let's just play both of. Well. Two less once per round, and that could be helpful. Cards we got here could be nice, just for tuning maybe, but... We may be in a state. We may be in a real state. And the Salon Solitaire is... One piercing and... Ooh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Somebody needs healing badly. Somebody is about to die. Okay. And so an adjuvant, and I just do not. Hmm. That's actually a... No, I'm not going to be using that all that much. This also sucks. That sucks. And does her burst even... Eh, it's still not that good. I just... Decorous Harmony, Quiffbreaker's Banner. The issue is, is that I don't have her burst up yet. Figure this one out. It's going fast. And use a bit of that. 
Use a bit of that. Could actually, actually, actually use. Oh, and the swirls are gonna be nasty. Oh, oh. Hate it here. There we go, cool. Nice. What you gonna do now, Venti boy? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Should put in Charlotte for a bit of healing, probably. Maybe. Well, there you are. There you are. Another spear flourish. Try to survive. Stone adjuvant. That's not good. It's not especially good, but the. Clone quad formation. Oh, it just creates stacks. Oh, that's really good then. Because what it means is that I don't have to worry about any kind of. Okay, cool. Then let's tune up using the Taramaru. Use that and probably switch to Charlotte, maybe? I really don't know. So that would prevent a lot of annoying swirl things. Yeah, okay. Someone will die eventually. Take advantage of death. We'll see. What is this guy's name? Yaw's yeah, name's not my day, if it seems like it's this guy's day. That's what I'm saying. Oh, goodness. That's trouble. Hmm, Saiganamiya Shrine is probably not great. Hmm. Best section on Sunday one. Oh, you're gonna kill me, aren't you? Yeah, oh, oh my goodness. That was disgusting. Okay. Huh. Alright, well. Let's use that. And just destroy most of my cards, probably. Hmm. But three versus Decorous Harmony plus two additional damage. So if I want to be really silly, I could actually destroy them. Maybe. You might be right. Doesn't make me happy, but you might be right. I... Uh, big issue is... I don't have a lot of cards to get rid of. Is the thing. I... Huh. Let me just use some of these and I... Well, alright. Actually, we could get rid of this. And use that. Shield's good. Shield's good. And we'll get a bit of stuff from that too. Thanks. Yada yada. Alright. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? And oh my. Really? Really? Whatever. And. Yeah, I just. Oh, wait, what? Actually, I could. Oh, goodness. It's gonna be hilarious. You can't. You can't attack, right? That's right. Oh, wow. Well, I... Let's use this, and I... What if I... Can you do anything? Oh! Damn you! That was awful. But I... The big thing is, I should have had... If I had gone first, I think I could have won. Going second was... Actually awful. The big thing was... They got lucky having that card just pull out. I bet they were saving that in their back pocket. Yeah, I... Well, whatever. We... Th this... This this was a bad one for me. This was just really, really bad for me. I... I should have had someone in there to basically eat Sino's big hit. Because Rathesley getting successfully targeted out first was what really got me. That was more than a little embarrassing, I'll say. No, I can't. I'm never gonna meet that guy again. There are hundreds upon thousands of people playing. The odds of me actually having a rematch against that guy is almost zero. I mean, I don't mind. It, it is what it is, but... Well, no. I was only there for the coins. If I was worried about getting my butt kicked, I wouldn't have streamed it. I mean, you literally show up just to see me get humiliated, so... I can't imagine that you're too disappointed by the outcome. Especially at one point you got to see your boyfriend beat me up. So... I guess what we could do is... Well, we got Shinyan there. We can do a few more rounds with 
the deck I've currently got running. Right, right, right. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I, I respect your faithfulness, but frankly, I expected a bit more greed. Fair. I... I liked using him in a base back when Shinyan was chilling. I guess the question is, would I get any proficiency from this deck? What does Zhao mean? Hmm, that can go back, that can go back. Understandable. So what do I want to use? I... Honestly, just sending Xinyan in as fast as possible is probably gonna be the move. Opep is fun, but it's just... I'm trying to rush deployment is not a great idea. I have to put her in the back pocket. Then, let's put on Timmy. Oh, we got another one of those. That's funny. Six Undersea Treasure, place him in the deck at random. Actually, what I could do is... I'd have to use one of those for Toon, but... Ha. Huh. Dance on Fire. No more than one card in your hand, but... In that case... Uh, the order won't really matter here. Just play that and save the underwater treasure for later. Oh, but I... Wait, what? What? That was ridiculous. I... It was wrong. That was wrong. I... I... Oh, I can't believe I misread that. Whatever. Stupid is its original cost, not current total cost, and I just... Uh... Uh... I am... That was really, really annoying. It... I really like... The discard mechanics... But it's so easy to just end up messing them up and running afoul of them, honestly. Well, whatever. Experimental progress. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we got the Lenny card, but using Kasava would probably be good. I actually... Huh. It feels like I might want to switch over to op -Ep. Maybe. Hmm. Let's put that down. That could be useful. And that cassava will help get op up, up. Which is good. Arataki Ito. Oh, but... Mm -hmm. Let's do that and probably just use a normal thing. What is Bro gonna do? It's not gonna let us draw anymore, which is kinda sad, but that's life. Okay. Burst is ready. That is true. Thank you there. I, uh, 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 I'm gonna need to maybe use the burst, but I, ooh, that's not good. I really needed to switch there. Okay. Alright. If Opep dies, I'm gonna be in a, in a real state. Hmm. Okay. This they just aren't gonna give me more stuff. That's sad. Okay, so all we want right now. It's saving the narwhal for later. It might be a little silly, but you will have to do it. Huh, huh. Okay, that's gone. Cool. That's another of those. Another heart of oasis in there. Cool. Alright, and then we can... Oh, but he would... Maybe if we put an op apple pass somehow. That's an idea. Gotta use that burst, but... Mm. Thank you, Oresama ni Makasero. Use that, and that'll discard. That there. Ha. Huh. Interesting. Gantogi. Discard the treasure so you can steal it, which I might not like. Well, we'll see. Oh, and more of that. Switch over to op -ap, use the op -ap's burst, and then... Switch back out to somebody else who can survive a bit more. Sacking Zinian eventually, I think, is going to be unfortunate but necessary. Let's just use that. Hello, hello. What you're going to do? What you're going to do is die. Okay, cool. And my kindred, stacks of Oasis Nourishment. 
And in theory, that should lead to Opeth surviving, maybe. Oh, okay. There we go. Cool. Move over to the other side and use our stuff. Hmm. We could just summon this now, actually. Yeah. Okay, cool. And that's only three. All right. Uh, so getting that going is going to be a whole thing. That said, I've got lots and lots of things to proc burning now. Yeah, that... A burning comp definitely works well here. Keep on doing it. Thank you. Cool. And the burning won't keep going, but we're in a good state. We're in a good position. Someone will probably die as a result of this, but you know. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Okay. How do I want to do this? Epic Kusaba moment. Oh, that'll kill me. Okay. Hmm, alright. Oh, we got more dice from that. Good stuff. Oh, Goro Switch. So actually, we're kind of chilling. Don't have any cards in our hand right now. Okay. Let's try our best to live. Uh, uh -huh. I... I feel like trying to get Opep in would be my best bet, just to set up the Opep sweep, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, cool. Presumably you can't do anything left this turn, so we'll just use Opep skill and yeah. Okay, fun. Thank you. Alright then. The Sava points are all gone. Okay, let's play that. Just shout to someone else, maybe, who might be able to take a hit and get Opep in for free without a switch. It's an idea. Okay, cool. Well, big thing is, is that reinvigorated Opep is in a decent position. Zero. Death. Oh so God. all that I gotta do is just have... Not having... Hmm. Leeway Harbor is kind of a problem. The big thing is, is that I liked being able to have... How many cards in my deck? Since a zero, zero cost Lenny in there, but if that gets discarded, then... It's just gone. Don't have any way to get rid of Kusaba as long as I've still got Kusaba, so... There we go, five base damage, because just plus three damage for everything. So ridiculous. Okay. Goodbye. Epic snake moment. And oh, it didn't even do the heal because it resolves after that. Interesting. So the question is, did this team get any more any more proficiency? I still wish Death House was good. He's not. I wish he was. Let's check, do we get any more proficiency in that deck? Check real quick, and... Yeah, they did change it, I think, that... You don't not get... You still get proficiency from repeated battles, so... There's no need to rush anything here. We're actually, more accurately, the big thing is that... Pretty much, within a single patch, you can always get... All the new cards to max proficiency. Just from doing your weekly matches. So what that means is, if and when I wanted to, I could go through and just, well, do all the character matches, which of which there are only 26 left there. And then all of the, let me see, all the hard mode card challenges, of which there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. For this, there'll be 12 after I do all these. Because I wouldn't have to worry, because I was basically saving those to use them to get proficiency. But I don't need to do that anymore, so I'm just not going to do that anymore. Now, the big thing is, I need to take a quick bathroom break. I will be back as soon as possible. Thank you for sticking around. I'll be right back. I'll try to.
Okay, I'm back. Oh, thank you for waiting. Mostly, question is, what is everyone's favorite food? Just given the opportunity to eat anything, what would you choose to eat? Things to do right now, and huh. thank you, thank you. It's good to be back. And we're just gonna run this again. I hope this team works. It really is a funky team. Oh, and this is the old Aika Xingzhou type team from before this. Uh, we'll see how those discard though. I'm seeing Celia is good. I huh. okay. Money card is good, but the big thing is if we get Cassava, I need to save the thing. Hmm, interesting. Pyro application. Well, I could. In that case, I should probably send an op at first. That would be an idea. Maybe, maybe. Let's see what we get and what we might have to tune. I. Mmm. Kinda tough. Not quite sure what I'll do then. Big thing is, let's just. Procs some burning pretty much immediately. Then I can switch over and. Zinyan use a. Normal attack. I'd prefer to be using her shield, but we'll have to settle a little. Hmm. Switch to Yomia. Is that? Put down a couple of tinnies. Switch over to Zinyan. The stuff up. Probably use her burst of force to scar things. Cassava is cool, but. Requires a lot of planning to use effectively, and frankly, a bit of luck to make sure you've got the right cards on you. Well, that's life. You know, I'm just glad they stuck to using the pre-made decks, so I don't have to feel like a failure when I lose because my deck is bad. I I may be revealing a bit, a bit too much about myself there, but that's what I'll say. Hmm. All right then. What do I want to put down? That's good. That's always good. Use this. And what else? That goes through. Hmm. Treasure seeking silly would be good. If your character uses a skill. That's decent, but gotta use that for tuning, and I'm going to use that for tuning. Let's just go for one more hit, and we can't use our burst right now, sadly, but that's life. Hmm. Cassava is dangerous. I might like to put that down now. I may as well, otherwise I won't have anything to do with the die I have. So... Oh, but I could have put down... Kusava... Oh, uh, well... Huh. Well, whatever. Big question is... What else is gonna get discarded? Uh, cause Kusava can go down there... Seeing Dance on Fire now might be a good thing. I... I'm in a position, that's for sure. Well... Kasaba can come down. This is gonna get discarded anyway, so I may as well play it. That, ooh, ooh, oh, this is always a really, really good one. I'm surprised I haven't been getting it as much. Well, in that case, what I'll do is use this for a bit of extra, and then use the burst. Then we'll be chilling. Then Opap should instantly get all the way up to revitalization. Which is kind of crazy to think. Oh, alright. This... The team's cool. But its game plan is much more complicated than... Scored all cards and... Oh, but it has to be... When you use the skill, you have to have fewer. Well, okay. 
Big old discard, and that's off at Revitalize. Should be. Just having to watch all these cards go through. I'm talking to Chad. I'm not talking to the cat. She can't understand me. Get one more. There we go, and guess who's normal now? This is actually kind of vile. Said, I don't talk to the cat. She couldn't understand me even if I did. Five physical damage, five dangerous damage, so it's literally just punch them all to death. Okay, cool. It, or I could be funny and use the burst. I think I will. It would be massive overkill, but... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I... It's not the cat's fault that I'm probably allergic. But I am still probably allergic. It's just a bad situation for everybody. I guess for all the animals in this house. Well, everyone except the chickens. The thing with the chickens is more that local neighborhood animals, wild animals, have tried to prey on them, but... Yes, but the cat we have is the cat we have. We can't turn our cat into a hypoallergenic cat. And it's... Yeah, well, like I said, they're better defended now. But, as I was saying, like, the, the point is not, you, you don't have to defend the honor of every single waking hour, every single sleeping hour. Like, I'm just, eventually I'm going to move out and I'm not going to have a cat of my own. You don't need to defend the honor of cats. Okay. They, they, they get along plenty fine on their own. I promise. Okay. Hmm. Well, what I mean is... This is not some sort of hypothetical question of, you know, if I were to have a cat, how could I best deal with it? It's dealing with the cat that we do have and that we're going to have for the foreseeable future. Okay. You can, you can say kill. I don't think- Twitch will not censor you for saying kill. Okay, okay. Uh, using- what could I- Hmm. Can I proc an overload? Okay. Well, I'm sorry. It's hard to... See what I was saying before? I can't tell when any of us are being sarcastic or serious. I blame the internet. Mm hmm. I... The best way to do this is just triggering as many reactions as possible, so... I... Huh. Let's just see. If I... Get an overload off. Presumably it would force switch. Maybe. Maybe. That pelican card would not do anything. That's the thing. Shield's always good. You gonna switch back? or Oh, right. That. Okay. Hmm. Okay, then. Oh, but... Oh, it did skip that. So it seems. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Let me just... Oh, and then he went back and... Okay. Huh. It's another reaction. So you're gone. You're gone. And now nothing is happening this turn. Okay, cool. In that case, it's probably going to get its shield back and we can repeat the process. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. It is always interesting to see how they change their behavior when you kind of screw with them like this. Let's just keep repeating this process until we burst them all down. And oh, you didn't get that back. Huh. Well then. I. Huh. Switch to the Abyss Mage, but. If you switch over, 
use something I switch out, I won't be able to get back, so the only thing I can really do is keep on switching until I can get another reaction in or something. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? And just... Mm, the more things I can get hit with a reaction, the more times I can... More of these stacks I can get and just win the match that way instead of trying to do it normally. I could switch to... Them. Okay, cool. Hmm. True Abyss Mage, so let's use that. Go for a hit. Moto Atsumare. And that got discarded. We're at four now. So let's just end our round, actually. Do that. We'll take a bit of reaction damage there. Thank you. That's four entwinement. Thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> what do we want to use? Hydro could be okay, but uh, not having any kind of turret is actually kind of an issue. Tingle Bolt Ring. And then, should be able to get Dandro hit on me, so. I could literally just wait. Stay in. Yeah, and... Oh, well, the Lingering Light is... Actually, we'll switch over here. We'll Dendro me and... Yeah. There we go. At six, and we won the match. It is cool when they have matches that are basically these... gimmicky little puzzles instead. I'm watching you play, and so let's just see how Charlotte fares. Shororoto. Let's do this thing. Cards and action cards for healing. I... Dance on fire would be good. Gotta make sure we have things we can keep. Oh, and there we have it. We have Wee Harbor. It's what we really need to maintain this strategy. Okay. Mm -hmm. I honestly want to send in... The narwhal just use its burst at least once. Because I haven't been able to see it use its burst with the new skin. Hmm. Okay then. Let me just. Hmm. Play Leeway Harbor. Put. Wait. That. Yeah, that'll be sadly necessary, I think. With that. Then I guess. Have to just use Dance on Fire? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shame that went away. I think, yeah. I can't use that this turn. Move over and, yeah. <laughs> Not a top. No, whatever. Tenshu Kaku's good, and I think I have that in. This deck too, but there's so many kinds of cards in this deck too. Well, I haven't been as reliably able to get them all. Okay. Try some of this. Use. Oh, that's tough. If only this guy could use Electro. I think Kenki is Kenki and Azu are the only cards that use multiple kinds, so to speak. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I guess what I do is just go for one basic hit, physical damage, switch back to Zinian, and then use this. Maybe it's an idea. Mm hmm. Use this, but we have too many cards to actually make use of that. That said, next round, we'll, we'll use it with a burst from Kasava, presumably. Maybe. I really don't know. Alright then. It's the end of that round. Oh, well, oh, right. We're not getting frozen ourselves, because it does a clear on them.
So Kasava will discard cards I want to discard, but I'm probably going to need to do a bunch of tuning to get rid of other cards that I don't want to have. So I can hopefully deal extra damage with the burst. We'll see. I really do appreciate how deep TCG mode is. They put a lot more effort into it than they really needed to. So I... Ooh, but no more than one in hand. Actually, it'll be fine, though. You can just... The tuning, though, we probably want to use the tuning anyway. I'll figure this out. Hmm. Yeah, we should be fine, possibly. Use this burst. Decent damage. Well, I again want to use her shield again, just to get rid of... To make use of that passive she has. Maybe go to... Uh, okay. It's still good. No card discarded, though. I... I think I could switch to... Oh, but we don't have enough Cassava points. If I switch to Up App... I could get one off, but only one. As, but that would also allow me to maybe get good op up in faster, quote unquote. It's hard to figure out. I uh, that's good. It's decent. Yeah, and we'll get a summon through a discord next time around. Well, I could just put this down immediately. There really is no reason not to. And then switch back to maybe, probably, Shinyan, actually. Healing, though, is... Oh, well, there we go. Sad, kinda. One pyro damage, and... Is that because the... This? Is a skill, once per round, and... Does end phase count as a separate round, for the sake of damage? Is that dealt an abnormally high amount of damage? I... Huh. I feel like that might be unintended glitch behavior. It would make sense to me. Hmm, okay. Either way, then... Hmm. She really is just incredibly good. It's kind of insane. Cassava is... maybe presenting some issues. The big thing is making sure I have lots of cards when I want them, and okay, cool, go ahead. Well, there we are. Do it like this. I need... Oh, 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 okay. Oh, we can do that, but we should probably want to... Use that. Hmm. Number of devoured cards. Equal to set cost. Usages. Oh, great. That's amazing. Making me so happy. Okay, hmm. I... huh. Should use one of these to put that other cassava point and then just go for a physical hit, I suppose? Maybe, maybe so. Well, alright. This could go worse. Freeze is always weird. In terms of when it works in TCG, it's a bit finicky. Okay, go ahead, keep using your healing. I'll live. Hmm. Oh, you're gonna freeze me, right? Presumably. Oh, but... Oh. Hmm. Alright, then. Gonna go for the permafreeze, or what? The AI is that good, I'm not going to be happy. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's a couple more for... Ah, that. Here we are. If op up can survive, I literally don't need to do anything else in this one. I might want to actually... Well, the big issue is... I'm just going to get frozen again. Yeah. Oh, or not. I guess sometimes the AI likes being nice. Okay. Hmm. We need to tune some... But tuning does not work for that, is the thing, but I... Huh. Oh, let's just see how this burst looks. Oh, it's the big eat attack it does that... for the phase transition. That's fine. And... It's just so hard to actually get 
the shadow to stay on field for any meaningful amount of time. That's the big thing. And that was a necessary evil. Alright. Do that and put this down and... Oh, nice! We've actually gotten to a decent position. We're snowballing for pretty much everyone here. Hmm. Alright. Uh, this team isn't bad, but it's just... You need a lot of luck to actually make the narwhal work. In terms of the cards you've got available, or you just need to be inhuman, an inhuman strategist. Just emphasis on inhuman. In order to actually make sure that you're getting... You know, discarding cards with similar enough cost to get bonus max HP. I understand why it's as complicated as it is, but it's still a bit annoying. <laughs> Either way, I don't need to use this team much more. I'm going to use something much simpler. I got an Ophirina with Esli and maybe. Got her Cassava points and... Huh. Spur of Water. Use this and over to you. Is that burst? It's the end of your round, so cool. And that means if I really wanted to, I could just play one of them. Sure. Got rid of the Kusava bonus this round, but there we are. Big bonus damage. That's just two in a bit. I would... Actually, we can just do that. Cool. Yeah, now that we needed that. Okay, cool. It's fun to use the danger attack. There we go. There we go. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Up up with the motto dendro. Single no eat there. Hmm. The final. So in that case, can we buy a skin? What skin? Got everything done. That was really all that time sensitive, but. Tazli, Furina, but. What characters do I have right now who I need more proficiency for? Put another deck together. The big thing is, with Tazli strong enough that. Don't need to be. Oh! Don't, don't want to change that part. I want to change the. TCG deck. I may be stupid. Maybe. In that case, well, actually, I probably want to keep this one. That one's actually good. Kinda. So, who do I have right now who's not at max proficiency, and how could I fit them together? Oh, Charlotte has no proficiency. It's actually kind of surprising. Leslie and... I feel like... No, Petrina's the only one there at the moment. Some kinda... You're there. Oh, but right, I need to do one more with that deck, but we may as well prepare our next thing. This could be kind of useful. I... It's a sort of funny durability team with Charlotte and Toma. Getting melt reactions with Toma's shield plus... Charlotte's normals, maybe? Hmm. Saw you, I haven't used... One that I have. Farzan, I have not. Hmm. Why is Sayu before Lynette? I think Lynette came out before Sayu. Doesn't seem to be any kind of real release order. I guess there's some sort of internal index order that I'm not quite seeing. Yunjin would be on the Rathesli Fiorina team, and that'll be in a bit. What would I run Kave with, though? Well, in the end, it's actually, if I'm going to use a weekly match, it's to get everyone through. I don't really need to worry all that much, besides just what would I need to actually win. Still, though. It's there, that. Fall in. Let's see the stories on these. Yours, I. Both things worth fighting for, probably what Venti said. Realm of the King. Bygone Era. How much more, and. We need one more for Opep team. 
Yeah, I'll fix that up next match. Hello there, hello. And let's do our card challenge. I guess what would be the best way to... Does anyone have a shield that we could deplete with? Somebody's stuff. I... It honestly might be... The Herald. Yeah, this could work. Pretty much... Most things react. Got the ability to do a decent amount of reactions here. I... Huh. These are all pretty good, except for that. Okay. Hmm. Oh, alright then. Let's try this out. Hope we get enough pyro dice to make this work. I... Huh, okay. Kinda sad. And, yep. Bad one. Well... And Timmy, Timmy, and the Sealy, and kid named completely full support zone. Okay, let's just use this big damage. And, oh wow, we're getting this immediately. Nice, pretty good. Well, this one probably was not meant to be all that difficult. Rippling blades, central shock. Curse of the Undercurrent. Oh, that's brutal. That's probably why they waited so much. And you got your shield. Alright then. Shuin. Shinpan. What are you going to do next time? Just a standard Rippling Slash, which... It's interesting that they have a physical option, because I'm pretty sure that... Every one of their attacks in the actual game does Hydro Damage. No matter what phase it is. Maybe. <laughs> well, okay. Let's... Oh, but the piercing damage might actually be able to work wonders. Let's see. I... Uh huh. Let's use... Oh, but I... Wait, what? Oh, because of the effect of... Did they use a... Undercurrent? Wait... Surging Undercurrent. Oh, defeated or triggers Watery Rebirth. Okay, okay. Let's do that and not having... Hmm. Being able to get the card drop was kind of painful, but... Get a lot of cards now. Cool. Well, alright. I will... Simply take you out. And then switch so I don't die. Cool. Kyora no Nami. Chaotic Waves. Cool, cool. Shuen Shinpan. Use some of that and oh, but the discard discarding is gonna be some trouble. Maybe. Okay, cool. You know, as long as it works. As long as it works. Sure we'll be fine. And we're doing okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -mm. That Kusaba, though, the issue is that I don't have a good way to discard with what I have. Ginyan really is the queen of forced discarding cards. I should be able to make this work with just op anyway, but it's still tough. Uh -huh. That's okay, maybe. Let me just see. Play that, play that. At this point, it's late enough in the game that it shouldn't really matter, but... I don't know. That took... Right, right, well, you're dead at least. Okay, cool. Huh, huh. I'm broken shield helped, but I... Hmm. Alright then, alright then. Hmm. Victory draws close. Oh, but... Getting to switch off is gonna be tough. Uh, I should probably still use the cassava. Question is, who will I be able to keep in? Well, the big thing is that Broken Shield guy is going to die now, so... What I could really do if I wanted to be hilarious was... Actually, I think I will be hilarious. 
Yeah. I can just... Summon all of these, and they will do the job for me. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's one free dendro hit, and then breaking the shield, too. I really don't need to do anything else. And we'll just sit on Opat. Yep. I'm like Gru. I got bigger. Okay. There we are, and... Support zone entirely full of... Just four proliferated organisms. That's all I needed to do. If it works, it works. Go get him! Okay. So there's one. You can get your shield now. Come on, come on. Then we'll take out one part of the shield, take out the next part of the shield, and you should just take six piercing damage and immediately die at the end of this. And wait. Okay, there we go. What I find interesting is that the piercing damage they take is higher than the HP they restore to. Even though they don't have any way to heal during this fight. I don't know how to feel about that. But, as I was saying... So if they ever introduce some mechanic that would allow you to, I don't know, get something in exchange for decreasing the amount of piercing damage an enemy took or to heal an enemy, they would still die almost no matter what. It is interesting that they kind of future-proof it. It's actually more interesting, frankly, that they don't have it where they're just guaranteed to die. It's very specifically, they take an amount of damage that is larger than their maximum health. It's surprising to me. That storing usage is that is a good one. Question is, what else? Two cards when you trigger a swirl reaction. That could be useful. Uh, freezing point composition. Snappy silhouette. And normal attack. Which I suppose she might be using. I... Huh. That could be good. Basically running Charlotte heal DPS. It's an idea. And what could we use for a spear? Surprising amount of spears here. Do I have? I do have rightful reward. Until burst, damage is healed, but uh, uh, uh I interesting. Could be okay. Active character you deal plus one damage. Mental skill. Hmm, that's not... It's only really good on Zhongli as a sort of turtler. I... Do I even really need weapons here? This could be okay. Hmm. Uh, huh, huh, maybe. Moon Piercer is mediocre. So it wouldn't be applying to his own damage either. This might be okay, though. Active character. Yeah, that... That might be our best option. And for... Sayu... Do we even want any? Force Regalia is... Attached... Uh, extend the deal... No, no. Oh, well, actually... Actually... That... Could be good. That could actually be pretty good on Sayu. Maybe, maybe. Bell could be good. Bell is always good, but this is kind of a joke deck. Kinda. I don't know. It's not a deck I'm all that serious about. We just focus on cards that let us ramp up between rounds. Timmy's decent. Kujirai is gonna be okay for this, actually. Especially since the other side can't even get dice. It's good, and do, eh, treasure seeking is kind of mid. Paimon card is good. Just Paimon card. 
Not that Paimon card, other Paimon card. I may be losing it. That's not... Yeah, because best is Traveling Companion. The fact that I refer to it by name is kind of silly, too. It's not in there. And I... It'd be funny if they just removed it from the game. I don't think that's what happened. Oh, no, because it's an event card rather than a companion card because it doesn't get put into the... That's right. That's right. Okay. Port card. It is interesting that items and companions count as separate categories and they... Actually, they are different because Junior Zod would not work on this. Let's just see how well this works. Cool. Alright then. That's another deck to try using. Tavern card challenge and... These five remaining and then I can try my best to... Be... Oh, the four drums temper challenges. So let's start with... Funny Seahorse. Pontimer Pearl user does not consume. Plus one when... There's a servant, such fortune, cats hiring divers. Seahorse dancers, pearl, pearl seahorses admirer. Then how much does it start with here? Whose cat do you think that is? Maybe it's my cat, actually. Maybe my cat got all the way to Italy. Hmm, pearl solidification. Frozen stun petrification, plus one when? Which I think is more than its normal plus one? We'll see. I... I'm gonna want to hold on to Kusava, but I don't want to use her right now. Because that cat is in heat or something, and it's afraid. Is that what's going on? My cat does not look terrified, and my cat is not male either. My family has a female cat who I doubt is scared of anything. Okay. Keep on looking. Yeah, they finally invented a girl boss cat. Does that make you happy? Then let's use this. Use the shield and deplete its pearl first round. Should help me. We'll see. Constantly pregnant girl boss. Are those are some words you do not expect to hear together. Oh, but... Takes damage and... Wait. What? I thought I did damage twice. Does it start with more or what? Whatever. Fair enough. If it works, it works. So what am I gonna get from the Kusava and... Oh my goodness. Well, as long as she loves you, I suppose. Fair enough. Let's just see. And Zinniad is probably going to be super dead. Maybe. Let me see. I... That came in way too early. I did not want or need that. Put that down and... Gonna have to do some tuning. Let's just use that burst. Someone might die. Okay. Hmm. Go ahead, hit me. Go ahead, hit me. Thanks. Time to take control. As one does, it's gonna deal... Oh, wow. That's not much damage. Huh, interesting. Let's just keep on hitting you slowly but surely. I don't even know who Shirley is. And... Oh, what? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna pretend that just didn't just happen. Well, let's just get your pearl back down. That would be nice. Okay. Well, luckily, it's not like they can trigger reactions on me, but still. I just... Mm -hmm. This is tough. Certainly quite tough. Well, the cassava should help... Oh, ooh, okay. Interesting, but the discard is... Let's see. I want to see how this is going to work. I might not have that much to tune, is the thing. 
And yeah, we got one summoned by discarding, but uh, okay. That's another on there, so. Swirling school of fish. Gonna use your. You are not going to use your burst, and that is good. Use that. Switch over to use another attack, presumably. Might have underestimated me. I bet you have. Swirling school of fish, and I. Uh, switching would probably be advisable. Maybe. Uh huh. Actually, what I could do, and probably should do, is... Well, you'll see. Summon two more of these guys. Wake up Opep, and just kill with a burst. And... There we go. Just gotta use these last two to switch it out, and... Tap on you. Oh, I realized that... Oh, I used the wrong deck, but whatever. That's fine. You know, I was... That, that was the victory lap. That was the victory lap. Hop up's good. Yeah, because I literally put together the Sayu Toma Charlotte deck, and then I saw other people on field and literally did not think twice of it. M maybe, maybe they gotta put me down or something. I don't know. Sure, see some major's improv song, relaxing, made up on the spot. See some gleam, backup singer. Watch your season's gleam. I'm just see then. In five rounds, these three immediately deal one damage before you choose an action. That's actually good. Wow. Well, hmm. Gains one usage, or keep them off field so they don't get reaction damage. I. Hmm. Question is, how do I want to run this team? Blazing Barrier, then a Sayu Swirl or something, maybe? Not sure. That's... Actually, all of these are good to have. I might try to... Well, we'll see what we have first round. So just get all these things on him. Maybe. Yes. Basically saying I'll do the housework later. Okay, that's actually good, because it means he'll be able to get a single normal attack off too. Put all these down. Every single one. There we go. Let's just put this on Charlotte. This on you, which is the only way we could do it. And then, and then... <laughs> Damage or is healed. Okay, plus two physical. No blazing bear, but that's my life. Cool. Let's end this round. He can take a few hits. Thank you. Oh, he should actually get energy, I think. Maybe I... Well. Damage or is healed, and... There we go. And my burst is up. There we have it. Oh, but actually, oh, that's right. Never mind, I don't have his talent card. Maybe I should add Storm Terror's Lair to this deck as a result. Well, I should do this now in the interest of time. Let's just try that then and... Big damage there, Go big damage. Go to no homo. Use. Freezing point composition. Switch out. Do some of that and... Whenever... A normal attack is used. Shinjutsu Nimas. Use that. Thank you, thank you. Cool. So now we can get some swirls going by way of Sayu, actually. Hmm, lots of things are on everyone, but at the very same time, I don't have to worry about... Don't have to worry about that much. Question is, Snappy Silhouette, Crushing Thunder, total of three. This one to use is interesting. Pair of skill, trigger swirl, and converted damage of the swirled element. Well, that 
Mm. It's only really good with Electro, honestly. So they can trigger Aggravate Squirrels or something like that, but... To be fair, that is pretty accurate about... The way... Animo actually works to a certain extent. You really want to be using Aggravate Squirrels. I... Turn up the volume. Oh, because you're going to start using Burst now. That's right. Thank you. Welcome, Mita. Oh, but... Interesting. Oh, you apply your own. That kind of sucked, actually. Well. Well, then. Okay. I'm just gonna pretend this didn't just happen. Okay. Oh, but if I swirl that and you use your shield... Oh, okay, well, alright. Cool. Thank you, and that gets rid of that at least, but I just... Seems a little more complicated than I might like. Hmm. Thanks. Oh, that just took you out. Okay, cool. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna use your burst too. Uh, okay. At least... They're not good on their own, honestly. It's not much they can actually do on their own. Should do is prep and live in this way. Make sure they're all different, but... <laughs> yeah, these guys can't do much to me, so I'm just chilling, but... Tanoshi Kurenade? Son about having fun. Okay. Let's see what else we get. I'm not even sure what game plan I want for this one. Got one more Scorching Oyore, but... This is mid. That's mid. Oh, we got lots. We got lots going. Zaikaishi? Let's just use this. Oh, that's big damage from that melt. Thank you very much. Finish off with the burst to be funny. Cool. Yeah, that... Did not go as well as it could have or should have, but it was still... Kind of a joke. Okay, and... Much rifle reward. Can't even see, because... Presumably that would only count as one instance of healing, maybe. There we go. Time to use this team for a couple more, and... It's three more tavern card challenges, and then, of course... Four drums temper. Well, it's a bit contentious, and I think it is, and there are a lot of people who think that the game is probably made by one of the witches as a result, because who would know that much about the abilities of characters who presumably only the Traveler has met? But there are also people who say that the TCG cards are just non-canonical. In the end, it I would err on the side of canonicity. But I would not be surprised if they said yes. Normal people knowing about Opep and Senora and the Narwhal is by no means actually meant to be canonical. It's for gameplay purposes only. But I think it's... I guess maybe they could explain it away by saying that most people think that all of the cards are purely legendary or just otherwise fictional characters if it's things that they would have no theoretical reason to even know about. But... I don't really take stock in that either. Things left are... Yeah. The crab and the two constipated beasts. Fire and iron seeker, huge crabs, climbers tolling of a bell. Mental burst, action phase, three stacks of carapace. Oh, so this needs a bit of... You gotta... Burst this guy down, pun intended. Sayu will not do much here. I need to put in... There should be some cards that I don't really care for, and that... That's not that good. What we want, honestly, is Storm Terror's Lair. That I can get... Oh, but actually... This might be useful. Draw one talent card. I could try making use of that. 
prove just the instant talent. This is the normal use for actual card draw. It kind of sucks now. For fire and iron, tools the bell. But for whom? Ernest Hemingway. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, that's not bad, but... Question is who I want to put in, and you are... Stronger. Okay. Hmm. Does not have any. So piercing damage could be good if I've got access to it, but... That's not a magical girl transformation. That's a sentai transformation. The distinction is crucial, and a lot of people would get mad about you for that. And, well, we got the wrong one. Okay. Alright. Alright. Hmm. And then we could... Ha. Huh. Hmm. Put that on you. And I guess we'll just... Use this now? Yeah, I... What do I want to get... I will use that. Put this on Toma. Use his shield. Sure. That's sad if he's not taking damage. Oh. Yeah. Well, you can. You would just be wrong. The big thing is that... Magical girls are, by definition, specifically female. You know, it's, to a certain extent, inherently a category error. Not to be splitting too many errors. To call anyone male... I mean, in, in Japanese, the term is just henshin. And to a certain extent, the whole magical transformation thing is a reference to stuff like Kamen Rider. Well, call me corrected, but... It's... Firefly, specifically, is more of a reference to stuff like Kamen Rider, if you're familiar, than something such as, I don't know, Pretty Cure. Turning up the heat a bit, I... Mm -mm. Oh, isn't that great? Mm. Composition, we should attach the snappy silhouette. There we go, cool. Thank you, thank you. Pyrop was good. Don't worry, it's okay. I don't I don't really mind all that much. It's just There were a lot of people who were very specifically excited for Is that just once per round? Yeah, once per round. That's actually pretty good. Very excited for Firefly from the perspective of this character is basically a common rider reference. Hmm. So rightful reward is worked, but I really want to get Hmm. Gotta break that down. Hmm. Yeah. You did tell me about that one. Let's try to think. This is tough. This is actually tough. I've been maybe... The big thing is I want... Really? Oh, come on. I should actually get rid of that, because that one's kind of trash. Okay, whatever. I... Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Whatever. 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 Buster boys, and then we have to just try to knock you down. And Oh, we need to switch that. Good thing that's useless. Yeah, well, that makes some sense. Oh, and that was good damage, too. Yeah. Hmm. Can't switch. Oh, but that's gonna come back, and I'm... Oh, goodness. I... Okay. Huh, okay. Big issue is that I don't think she's not going to be the reaction trigger, is the thing. I... Huh. Okay. Well then, well then. Gotta switch over to Charlotte and use that blazing barrier for fun things. Presumably. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some of this, but some of this. It's 
actually replace that. Sure. Use this for healing. This is a tough one. I, I'm i not entirely sure I'll even be able to actually get the kill in time. My team is way too defense focused, and this enemy needs to be bursted down. Oh, whatever. I Okay. I huh, need some kind of alpha strike on them. Otherwise, they're just screwed. Yeah, I... Interesting. I'll try that again, I guess, but... Alright. Huh, huh, huh. Whatever. Yeah. It's just... There's gotta be some kind of shield pierce, right? But it's... It's just an incredibly poor matchup. Hmm. I haven't gotten that much use out of Vonorana either, so... I really just... I'm losing it. Okay. I guess I can go in with the Blazing Barrier and try to... Or I can just use this. Yeah. Cool. And if you kill me, that's a free switch. So please kill me. Oh, but the points are annoying. And can I... Oh, actually, this should kill. Yeah. Okay, it was narrow and close, but we managed to do it. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Monsoir Verite. Verite. If I ever learn to if I ever learn to speak French, I need one of you to come kill me. Please. But quite frankly, there are a lot of people who also think that the fire fling from fly fling from Honkai Star Rail is at least in part a Metroid reference. Actually, on second thought, no you can't. Because if I said that, you would probably find a way to trick me into learning French, and then you would kill me. So. Fatal Fulmination, Spiky Felons, Big Fish Scorpions. D drawn one of the Venomous Sands? Withdrawn one. You can't see all that. It's funky. Okay. But a lot of people think Firefly is at least partially a Metroid reference. Because her armor's name is Sam, like Samus. I I have to be I have to always be vigilant to make sure that people don't just kill me. Okay. Oh, but the duel might not eh, whatever. No, that's Timmy, not Kujura. Kujura would be a problem. Well hmm. Doesn't have fatal on him. Like the Megazord. Well, what's really funny, actually, is... I forget who it was specifically, but... If I recall correctly... Specifically... I know that Japanese Spider-Man... Had a robot called Leopardon. And that... Some things were arguably references to that. There was something that was a reference to that, to my knowledge. But I don't remember precisely what. We can have that on there for later. And use... No, no, we're gonna use that. And use the Blazing Bear and then switch. Can't use that yet. Wait, wait. Let me see. Leopardon. Leopardon. She? Okay, I had to check, but I have not seen reference to Leopardon as a specifically female being. I mean, gendered robots do exist. There was that mecha anime that came out recently, Big Bang Braver, that I heard of, which is literally giant robot yaoi. And it's not like that Voltron show that came around that was just really gratuitous, but it's okay. And pandering, it was just very serious 
the giant robot is gay for his pilot. Which... I, it seemed pretty interesting. Honestly. I mean, oh, but... This is gonna suck. I need to wait till that support zone is full, maybe. Who has anything? You have some stuff. I might actually want to use... Sayuan, maybe. Active character. Oh, go ahead. Use this energy box and put a trap down. The nice thing is at least they can't get reactions going. That's good, at least. Bro is copying my cards. My cards. Okay. Let's do that. Draw some more cards. Some more cards. Hopefully we'll get something good. I ooh, ooh, ooh. You always want the tenacity. Okay. Hmm. Well then. Well then, okay. This is dangerous. And I, uh, yep, he's got the energy he needs, so there we have it. Okay, so that's the end of that round. Oh, oh, right. The, the funniest thing about that is that... Do you know who invented her as a character? Do you know who invented her? You might know. Well, yeah. But do you know who created her? Created her as a character? And you can probably find it if you look her up, but I'm not sure if you'll instantly recognize the name. Uh, 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 she doesn't have energy right now. But she would be on there driving. Thomas, so... Wait, wasn't it? Wait, wait. It was not... Gerard Way. Gerard Way, the front man of My Chemical Romance, invented her as a character. No kidding. Okay, we've got that skill, which is good. I was never really a My Chemical Romance person. Dom at least was at one point. I think he still kind of is. If you bring up My Chemical Romance, I'm sure he'll ramble about it for a significant amount of time. Maybe. Thunderbore. It's not that boring. But I... Uh, got some more rounds. Let's see. Choose this for healing. Use that. Big damage. Big damage. Sukadaji Sanzo? Uh, yeah. The thing about me is that... There are some... Emo adjacent bands that I do have some fondness for. In particular, I do have a decent amount of fondness for Three Days Grace. But Wikipedia does not call them emo, so. I'm not sure about that one. But I. Mmm. Ah, uh, once, per, once per round. Okay, cool. Well, we can take you out. We can take you out and then. Get some healing somehow? I don't think. I don't think. Mmm. -hmm. I don't have... Actually... Next round... May as well play this anyway, just to get it in faster. Maybe, maybe. I... Huh. We'll see. Put that down, put... I could put this down, just... For next round, because otherwise those dice are going entirely to waste. I'm just gonna do that and- Oh, you hit me back! That's not good. Okay, cool. Hmm. Maybe it'll be time to use a burst. Maybe. Hmm, next time, next time. As long as you don't kill me, because I do have that shield. Maybe. Healing would be good. Healing would be good. Let's use this. Try to get a kill or something. Would increase damage of a reaction. Oh, and Lincoln Park, but I don't think... Let me look. I don't think people consider Lincoln Park to be emo. Maybe they should. And, oh wow, no damage. Right, because of tenacity. Pe people will ship anything. I try not to pay too much attention to it. it sounds questionable. There we go, we actually kill with the Charlotte Burst. Let's peek. Let me just... Does anyone consider... 
Yeah, nobody, nobody continues. Wikipedia does not consider Linkin Park to be emo. What does her name? Yeah, it's weird. No. Because emo, emo as a genre is different from the sort of emo goth aesthetic. Is, I, I think emo is generally a bit more pop adjacent. Well, I mean, it's one letter off already. So. And what I do know is that in... They changed the pronunciation of Sega to Sega in Italian for similar reasons. Well, then just don't write it. You can talk about other things. Portent of the Desert Waste. Danger Deathly Cyclone. Bone Cruncher's Energy Block. These are interesting characters. About Sega? C Sega and Sega? Well, I, I will be playing... I will be playing Sonic Frontiers and... Sonic Shadow Generations, hopefully. I mean, sorry, that's Sonic X Shadow Generations. So eventually, so... You can laugh the entire time. Because it would be... The new Mario & Luigi, which I think I would like to play. The new Sonic game, the new Zelda will be coming out. All around, somewhat around the same time. I need that rightful reward, and I need this. I Toma can stay on there, probably. We'll see. But again, I guess the question is... Actually, tomorrow I'll do a quick thing of the event, which should take an hour maximum. Then, on Monday, which will be the last day of the stream event, presumably... Let me just check. 4.7 stream event. Genshin. That's Everlaster Dream Intertwined Twitch Livestream Event. And that streaming period ends at June 25. Wait, let me see that. That ends... Oh, wait. June 25, I... That's UTC plus 8, so I wouldn't actually be able to use that, but Monday, Monday would be fine. Okay, that was nothing. Let me just do... Let me see. Registration and... Yeah, yeah, so there's nothing all that special. The big thing is that maybe I thought maybe I could roll for Siglin, but no. Not during the stream period. <laughs> but... I will say that... This is kind of similar to something I was saying before about... There's a difference between expanding your audience... And trying to satisfy people who will hate you no matter what you do. And basically people were talking about how Sonic Frontiers brought back a bunch of the sort of Sonic's friends characters as playable. That being Knuckles and Amy and a little bit of... Oh, come on. Give me the right talent card. Knuckles and Amy Tails is playable and now, you know, the Sonic Shadow Generations Generations remake. Which also I never got to play Generations. 350 pay extra prices on what? She would have to pay for what? Um 350 in a cartridges, I assume. I don't I, I presume they weren't entire boxes. Right? I'm kind of worried now. Well, whatever. We could actually, the best use of our stuff would be to use this and then put in Toma. Okay. What do you mean by extra prices? Was she smuggling them? Avoiding tariffs or what? I, uh, uh, okay. Interesting. If we're lucky, maybe we could get... Oh, you're not going to use another, though. I think we can still get Toma in, though. Oh, but actually, are you going to use your burst now? Oh my goodness. The round one burst. My goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we actually have some things then. I could use... I could get Herburst ready if I really felt like it. I'm just going to put Rightful Reward on Toma and switch over to him. Yes. That will be the end of that round. It will waste one die, but that isn't horrible, horrible. And still, we're able to use more customs? Wait, but... Do they try... So, as in she was smuggling, she did she intend to sell them? So presumably, they weren't her own games, right? Okay, okay. It's just... I don't even think there are 350 different physical Switch games that someone could own. Maybe. Hmm. I... Huh, I'm gonna have to switch some of these out. Well, you know, different different strokes for different folks, I guess. I... I am not familiar with every single game on the Nintendo Switch. This may come as a surprise to you. Just, just many of them. Honestly, not even most, just many. Okay. Hmm, so the switching and the damage. Switching over to Sayu. Got two dice and I can't use much on them. The big thing is going to be getting his burst back up. I could just... This spreads out the damage a bit more. It's not like I'm particularly concerned about keeping Sayu alive. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, but basically, people were talking about how... And the big thing is that... They briefly had Ego Raptor. Who is... Or Eren, one of the Game Grumps, if you're familiar. Be a sort of quasi-spokesman for the Sonic series some time ago, which it, just even at the time was a horribly harebrained decision because he despised Sonic. He hated everything about it, quite frankly. But they were so caught up in changing their game to, you know, satisfy people who didn't like it, who were never going to like it because people were complaining about quote unquote Sonic's annoying friends. But, you know, the people who actually liked the game liked those aspects. You can't really satisfy people who are going to hate you pretty much no matter what. It's simply not possible. Yeah, I... It's very, very expensive these days. I need to find my old copy of Soul Silver, frankly. Oh, but I, I messed that up. I messed that up. I didn't use the talent card. I'm an idiot. I, okay. Well, okay. I can, I can still salvage this one. We're still more than more than enough ahead. Question is, will you hit me with something? And if so, yeah. And do you have an energy block you could use? Or really? Okay. Huh. That's the end of your round. Then that's actually really bad for me. It's actually horrible for me. Do I? What? The AI. The AI is actually playing really well. I don't like that. Well, whatever. More damage. Then, and then, and then. Maybe we'll heal or something. Could put this on him. No reason. And it... We can, we can take it up with the evil beast known as the Law of Supply and Demand. Okay, let's see what else. Uh -huh. How do we want to do this? Hmm, a scattershot vortex. That was dangerous, but we should be able to just get a free kill next round, maybe. Yeah, that that's unsurprising to me. It's if it's that expensive, you're going to have to basically cheat. Lie. Deceive children. As one does. I was not going easy on you. I was simply stupid and forgot. Good day, sir. A lie by omission is still a lie. She was not acting in good faith. She might not have not told him the truth, but there was something very obvious that she could have mentioned that she chose not to. 
And how old was the kid, anyway? Okay. Mechanical front and... Okay, fair. So there was no communication. Understandable. Okay, so this is... This is just the Zinian team. This is kind of funny, actually. Four shield points with which, which to protect their active character. Well, if we don't play action cards, it doesn't matter. Okay. Hmm. Alright then, that means we just focus on discards. Do this one. Okay. Let's try it. Clever Stratagems, Mechanical Front. Have mercy. Have mercy. I... All of these are action cards and I just... <sighs> Shield could be worth it. It's using this, just uh... Hmm. Well, we'll see. Don't worry, I don't think anyone would be all that offended. You did see it get blocked. And I plus two damage. This is... It has to be Zinyan. The stackable shield is... That said, if we put it on something weak, we could maybe go through with the piercing damage. We will see. Kasava's good. Kasava is peak. Then four poison action, action card. We should be able to make this work. Yeah, okay. To do this without any cards played whatsoever would be... Tough. Theoretically possible. Maybe. Hmm. Energy boost Usi. Ooh, alright. Okay. Not okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Gonna have to use that, presumably, and... Ooh, ooh, okay. Much more. Cancel this effect, and... Oh my goodness! That was actually vile. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, the question is... What am I gonna manage now? I feel like op that might be good to have in here, but it's still so... So crazy. Just can't play any action cards, and I probably need to keep Zinian on here somehow. I... huh. That's gone already, so never mind. Hmm... okay. Okay. Thanks. No damage. And you're dead. Okay. We could use some of this, then. Get one Oasis Nourishment in and... Yeah, that could be useful. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you, and... Oh, what? Two and... Oh, goodness, I'm worried. <sighs> okay, well... Big thing is... I might be able to try to survive this. But if I actually didn't play any cards at all... No cards whatsoever. I might have been better off. Maybe. We'll see. But it's definitely going to have to be discard related. And the Kusava might have been worth it, but the other one probably was not. That's the big thing. Okay, cool. Oh, all right. Let's use that. Do that and switch over to another one. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, and decent, decent, is that, switch over, oh, because of the cards getting played, right, 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 okay, cool, just gotta make the op up work, and I, oh, right, because of the, we've already finished the round, it's already over, I, ha, huh. it's an idea, Let's try that again. I might want Jinyan or something instead, is the thing. Big thing is that Jinyan has the best ability to just force discards. I hmm, can't afford to actually try using anything, is the thing. Just have to force some discards through and get her burst up as fast as possible to clear my hand. Use stuff for tuning. Or I could just use everything for tuning. 
That might be what I have to do. Okay. <laughs> Alright then. Alright. Then we'll just tune everything. Okay. Cool. Randomly discard and create a shield of passion. Alright. This might be what I need to do. Cool. We just spam these. I can... Live. Yeah, I... This might not be a joke, per se, but I think this is how I have to do it. Alright, then. Can't really get anyone in, but I can at least go first next round. Yeah, just not having to deal with that shield is useful and convenient. That's all I really had to do. Big thing is, tuning will be crucial for this. I'm going to tune one, tune another. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Can't use my shield, but I should be okay. Hmm. The tuning, though, is just the biggest issue, honestly. I think that nobody... I feel like I would need to find someone who has skills that I can meaningfully use for less, maybe. Not quite sure. Big thing is, if I can keep one of them from getting killed, but... The best way to get character in for cheaper... Honestly, it might be some kind of bizarre and perverse combination of Xinyan and... I'm not sure. Of Xinyan and Yunjin? It's a question about dice costs. That's the main thing. Ah, uh, we can just kill. Okay, cool. I really, really, really... I need something that reduces my costs. Hmm. Hmm. Big thing is, I can't play any cards in this challenge. Team what? Maybe I am team floating quotation marks. You never know. Don't worry, I figured. So... Who could work for this? Huh. I... How does Yunjin work here? I... I really don't have an opinion. Skill costs... One less elemental die. Oh, that's... Yeah, you have to use Yunjin for this. You have to use Yunjin for this. Okay. Flying Cloud Flag Formation. Yeah, it's just solo Yunjin, basically. That's fine. Let's delete one of these teams and copy another. Yeah. Which can I afford to part with? I can afford to part with this silly one. What even was this one? Whatever. Let's just copy this. Okay, cool. Set as active and switch out. It's really just Yunjin and Jin Yan, presumably. Well, really just Yunjin in particular, I would say. We just put Yunjin in and... Guess I could put this in, but I'm not playing any cards. Okay. Well, what I will say is that... The 3DS was interesting... But it was also, it's an, a shamelessly gimmicky console that aside from the portability, the Switch is not that gimmicky. Which I think for better or worse is part of why it succeeded. Okay, Yunjin, it's your turn. We don't need any of these cards. We're just gonna tune. Okay. <laughs> no more than one. Shield's good, and then we just spam normals. Nothing we can do for healing, but presumably this should not be that complicated a puzzle. Maybe. 
Hopefully. Huh, huh. Oh, yeah. Gimmicky is in... The 3D was a gimmick. It's fun, but it was definitionally a gimmick. Now, people tried to make it you know, sort of useful, but... Or sensible, but... Oh, I didn't discard enough. I... that shouldn't really matter. Okay. Hmm. Use that, use that, maybe switch... Uh no. Should have switched first thing, presumably, actually. Maybe... oh, but I got... wait, oh, because it creates one thing of... Flag formation, yeah, this is... yeah, that's it. One less elemental die. Three stacks, cool. Stack of flag, flag of flag formation, and... So you need to use that then, for the sake of it. Cool, cool, cool. Mmm, but... Or what I'll do is... As long as well, she's gonna die. Hmm. The stacks are gonna be pretty important. We'll see what happens. Three, so that's... Just thinking about the cost. Well. What are you gonna do? You're gonna kill me, right? Yeah, you're gonna kill me. Okay, cool. Fun! So that helped me out a little. Maybe what I should have done was use another and then... Well, the big thing is to make sure I use all of my dice every round. And then... Oh, but I need to tune these. I need to tune them. So I can kill. There we go, cool. Thank you. Can't burst right now and... Ooh. But if I use another normal attack, I could do that. Then we can just immediately pierce. Yeah, there we go. That might be a bit tough, but we'll live. I... This is more or less what I need to do. But I think there's going to be some trouble here. It might be. I might have needed to... Might have messed up with how I use Yunjin at the start. But... I like that this is more of a puzzle than anything else. This thing's from getting too annoying. Alright. Piercing damage should be kind of useful. Maybe. I... huh. Hope I don't get killed. That would really ruin my day. Okay. Use that. And then the question is... Oh, instead of using that, I should just spam my normals down. Yeah, okay, cool. You're gonna switch, you're gonna switch, you're gonna switch. Yep, you're gonna switch, and then we can just zoom away. Yeah, kill with a Zinian burst. Thank you, you can't do anything now. Thank you, Zinian! Cool. Alright. What a silly gimmick. Well, whatever. And there we go! Max score! All you have to do is literally send a Yunjin and Jinian together. It's kind of funny. Uh, let me see something. What else? What else? I just want to see if Yunjin got any proficiency from that fight. Because normally, they don't get any proficiency from... Yeah! Four drums temper does not count for proficiency. Which is standard with how it used to be. That's whatever. Next one is going to be... Let's see. Tavern card challenge. No, not that. Four Drums Temper. Enter the Four Drums Temper challenge like it's a place. Sandstorm Strike and... To use skills. Interesting. Play an action card. Three times per round. I... Huh. I honestly feel like Diluc would be good here. Because you can bypass the skill issue by playing a talent card as an action card. 
I'm thinking. Also, just focusing on stuff that would allow you to... The ones that create more cards would allow you to deck out. Maybe. Well, not deck out, but... This needs a new kind of deck. This one is Assault Tactics. Takes damage, deal plus two damage, heal. Your active character for one HP. That... You just use Rathazli for this. That's just Rathazli. Discard the two cards with the highest cost. Reaction damage. And that... Two times per round. That could be okay with burning. Maybe... I... I honestly think... Let me just see. Plus 6 HP and... That the normal deck here might be the best option. We'll see. This could make Narwhal strong. Let me try this. And I... Omni die. Was it draw two more cards or... I'm gonna stick with this. Sure. That, draw two cards, and on the element, plus one. Hmm. I worry about this one. Oh, I... <sighs> Let me see. Some kind of swirl-oriented deck might be the best way to do this. I'm wondering. Hmm. What I could do is maybe set up the burning for the next coming round. It's possible. Maybe. It's certainly something. It's certainly something. That was a horrible start. Horrible start to it. Hmm. Okay, then. Okay. Hmm. But how to reliably trigger reactions? And I'm pretty sure that question is whether something like Quicken would count as a reaction. It's in using already existing Quicken Aura. Well, hmm. Alright. There's gotta be a way. There's got to be a way. You're gonna switch, or... No, you're not going to switch. That's actually good for me, but... So this might be how we want to do it. It's just... We started off in a very bad position. Everything got discarded, so we couldn't use any tune, and... Okay, that is needed. It's desperately needed. So that... Hero Harbor is good, we need... Okay. This is good, because it means it will keep a lot of the cards we need. I... Vaporize could be nice, too, but... I'm concerned. I'm concerned about all this. Well, burning could also be nice, but... Ha. Huh. Hmm... It's tough. That's rough. And then six undersea treasure. Hmm. We really need to get a reaction off this round. But I hmm. discard is kind of brutal. More than a little. I might have to basically use this round for setup. I'm not procking reactions. It's tough. Well, alright. We might want to. We might have to sack the narwhal. Alright then. Alright. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna have to be a sack. But, procking burning using OPAP would be helpful. It is definitely possible that I could. Kind of snowball and just destroy them right at the end. Maybe. Timmy would be good to have. Maybe. Maybe do some elemental application. This one is interesting. It's definitely supposed to be the hardest. The big issue is just... You've gotten a really, really raw deal in terms of... What elements we're actually getting. I... This legitimately sucks. Okay. If we had gotten a bit luckier with the rolls, I think we could have managed it. But... 
It's actually really agonizing, honestly. To me, it could be good for the final part. We'll see what happens. Really need get some other cards in. Hmm. Hmm. I. They keep giving me absolutely nothing. It. It really is just a roll of the dice. It's kind of aggravating. Okay. Let's keep on moving. Those are good. That's decent. That's... most of this is trash. Should we get something we can... oh, that that could be good to have. Depends on how we start this. Then we could... oh, this should be decent. We can at least use the shield card. Yeah, I... I have some hopes about this one. Use that went away, which is nice. Could help with a winny, maybe. Use this, get more card draw. Put this down, and then honestly play Taramaru. Okay. And then we use a shield and Oh, but we don't have any ability to switch. Right. Okay. Well, hmm. That's something. Is she going to die? She won't die, but she'll get very, very close to death. <laughs> Triggering the reactions, that was what's going to be aggravating. Hmm. Well, whatever, yeah. It's close to death. Card draw is crucial. That. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see what actually gets sent through. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm sure that someone has thought this one out, but... And yeah, but gave me exactly what I didn't want at the moment. Predictable. In that case, well... Uh, you're gonna stay in? Really? Okay. Dumb. I just don't have what I want, or what I need. Hmm. Uh... To get a team that can stay in with durability, kill things without having to worry about. Mm -hmm. I might just try that Jinian team I had before. It, there's a good chance it works. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. If I do it like this, if I do it like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, but we already have that? Whatever. Whatever. Okay. I... It's probably gonna just have to be the... Jinny and Yunjin team. As I did before. Hmm. I... Not much else I could use that for. Actually, I could put these down. Yeah. And then just pray that somehow it works. Yeah, and... Oh, but that'll kill... That will just kill. Okay. Mm -hmm. Annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Mm -hmm. The proccing reactions is kind of an issue, though. How I'd actually be able to reliably do that, the answer is I can't. It's the way that the prepare works, and actually, maybe. I'm not quite sure. If I was really, really smart about it, maybe, but I, I'm in a rough position here, in a very rough position. All right, okay then. How much can I discard? Get that done. Draw more cards. Cool. Uh -huh. Cool, I guess. Not rocking a reaction that way. Let me use this and okay, that's not bad, but <laughs> you're gonna switch, you're gonna switch out. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Thank you, and really, really How is Why did you stay in so much? 
This is actually really stupid. Okay. The discard and the reaction stuff, it... I feel like this would need a very specific deck, and not in a funny just use this one character kind of way, but in a you're screwed unless you use a very specific deck kind of way. This is the last one, but even still I'm kind of miffed. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Don't need these. I'm gonna try using Yunjin and the other other one. Hmm. That's useless. Well, thank you for sticking around. Um, I won't be much longer anyway. See ya. <sighs> Discard relevant cards would be good, but... That's the thing, and... Oh, that's so stupid. I actually don't have enough. Because mm -hmm. I... So I use those all, I won't even be able to use the skill. It's really aggravating. Cool. Okay, cool. Thanks. And yeah, I literally can't even get the goddamn reaction off. It's that bad. Yeah, see, because I just... The hell do I do? You're gonna switch, I'm not going to get the reaction off, and I'm just... To get... The main issue is just... Maybe I could try the beasts, but... There aren't really any characters that have synergy. Synergy between discarding cards and... You know, actually being able to get the reactions off here. I genuinely hate this. It's... Whatever. Whatever. I uh, and yeah, I can't even tune. <sighs> unless you luck out and get a card that gives you more card draw. That makes it just incredibly luck oriented. Unless you have a card that gives you more card draw per round, you're not going to have any cards to tune with, and you're just going to be screwed completely. It it's so specific, and I know that's the point, but it's incredibly frustrating. Let's just buy some skins or something with what we have. I may as well. Actually, if I'm going to be using the scorpions for that one, which I might be, big thing is just, you know, what can you swirl? It's gonna have to be a Consecrated Beast tank for that one. To put one together. So get reaction damage dealt reliably. I think, honestly, it's not even all that bad as long as you use a Consecrated Beast deck. But you have to use a Consecrated Beast deck. That's the thing. Oh, wait, what? Wait, did I... Oh, I unequipped that. Never mind. I... This is a fun deck, but never mind. Okay, cool. Let's use... Two Consecrated Beasts, and maybe, honestly, the Narwhal, if I'm discarding that much. Both of you. So the big deal is you draw more cards for that. More card draw. That could be helpful. Kusava could be useful, but... Not drawing the energy blocks. And then, I... These talent cards could be nice to have. Especially since they're very, very low cost. Definitely meant to synergize with stuff like Kusava, but... Throw on Cruncher's energy block and put it in your hand. After you play, draw one card and randomly place it into your deck. After you play the Bone Cruncher's energy block... Mm hmm... Switch it out for another card, and we don't need weapons here. Weapons cannot help us here. Some artifacts could be okay, but... Big thing is that this needs to get done fast. I... that might be good. 
So like Kusava and hmm. Strong cards is nice, but having them be useful cards is even better. This is good. We need this is this is good. And then hmm. I guess the question is maybe something like Marshall Say could be useful, but what other maybe Storm Terror's Lair? I really am not sure at this point. Hmm, distant storm. Bit of knowledge, but they don't have a deck. This is an adventure challenge. Kujirai could be okay, given that. No, no, no. Kujirai could be okay, given that we have. It is an adventure challenge, so we don't have to worry about them getting any advantage from that. I. Maybe star signs. This one could be good too. I. The game is getting significantly more complicated. I don't think there's any denying that. That could be useful just for something big cost. I'll try this and see how it works. Gotta start with the. Let's see. Start with the scorpion switch to deal swirl reaction damage. Now that should be more or less the way to do it. Maybe. Alright, it's beast time. Let's see how this works. Seaway's okay. That's big. Getting rid of the big cost ones is gonna be an idea, but I oh ah, that's tough. That's real tough. Cause that's gone now. I might hopefully still be able to make it work, but I'm worried about my odds. That goes away. That goes away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Treasure clue, but let's use Pwn Cruncher's energy block. That could be a good thing to have, just so I can use it sooner than later. The more cards I get, the better, and I will need to be smart about that. So we got that. Now we can Switch over, play some of that. Elements will die next time you switch. Hmm. Will I even switch? That's the thing. I scrolling scroll and draw one. Card for each bone cruncher's energy block, and this is just all card draw stuff. Cool, you're gonna switch again, I presume. Nice, nice, nice. And then, and then. Discard could be okay, but feel as if I need to find a way to get another. Hmm. Well, all right, all right then. Okay, so let's play this. Let's switch. It was oh, well, I didn't want to lose that, but whatever. I guess I'll live. Well, I. What are you gonna do next? Oh, but you'll. Ah, uh, never mind. Okay, cool. We can just spread the status around them. But I... This is gonna get tough. This is gonna get tough fast. The doubling aspect is gonna be crucial, but of course you're ending your goddamned round. I actually hate this. Well, hmm. Because I'm not even gonna be able to use... Well, well... Yeah, because he didn't get the breathing, and I just... Ah, stupid. Actually infuriating. So this is clearly the one way to do it, but... It's still going to rely on a good amount of luck from card draws. Yep, yep, yep. Great stuff. And I just... What am I going to do to you? There's not much I can do to you. Okay. Alright then. Hmm. Yeah, that just... This is infuriating. Don't know what I can do without using the funny animals, but... Other than using the funny animals... That's gonna be annoying too. I... Star Sense could be okay. I probably don't want Cassava right now. 
But, okay, we basically put those in there to kind of act as a smoke screen, so to speak. That could be nice. Maybe. I... It's going to depend heavily on getting the right cards to tune with, and I'm just... This is some kind of a luck-based mission. Okay. How do you do this stupid thing? Somebody who's Queen, Ahida, and Dory? Well, there might be more insidious reasons for that, but... Let me just see. Oh, Nuviet? Oh, well, they didn't beat it. 600 score. Let's see what they did. Hmm. Winnie. Official in Nahida. Interesting. Yeah, Nahida would be good if you could reliably get her skill off, but that's gonna be. That's a luck based mission. Whatever. I. Huh. Might go with. Timasa there because this is just ridiculous. It. Well, I guess what you have to do is just ignore anything discard-related entirely. And just... Because it's a discard without any benefit. It's just, you just can't rely on having cards, but you gotta focus on reactions. That... Hmm. Guess who needs to make a new deck? Well, I'll do the others first, because I can probably figure out that my, figure them out myself. Since from Strike. A lot of action cards, and... Hmm. Draw one card, max three times per round, use skills. So cards that give me more dice, cards that give me more damage. So the Taramaru stuff, let me think. Put together a team for this. I think the best way to do it might be summon me with Cryo so I can take advantage of maybe Cryo dice and the Cryo Leyland Disorder. I mean Cryo Resonance, but... It's a shame that the beast didn't do it. It is what it is. Hmm. Okay. Let's make something silly with cryo. I huh. Something that focuses on first thing to do is to make sure that I can Let's see. Not gonna be discard oriented, but Tarumaru, you treasure one. Should be good. It's also good, just let's get more dice. Hmm. Oh, but actually, and it's gonna be really, really silly too. That's good. Legend of Vanessa is gonna be really strong. So it'll actually give you more dice than it costs, because no, it's gonna give you a lot more dice than it costs. That's good, and maybe using Actually, this, this is good. It's gonna be gimmicky. So deal more damage, that could be useful. So the fact that we draw more cards, just keep playing cards. I, hmm. Does it normally give you more dice? It, the resonance ones would be good with, pushes who I use. Mm hmm Still damage without having to... I feel like some kind of reaction would be good, too. Maybe a... Pyro Resonance with... Diluc, actually? I really don't know. Who else would be good on this team? Maybe... Clarionfe? Sure. Once we get this silhouette up there, we can... Reliably do big hits or something, but... Hmm. Explosive spark usage is plus one. Weapons would be useful. Charge attack. That. Hmm. Hmm. Bonus damage. That could be good. It's at least if I get it first round, but... Mental skill, and... This would be good on Diluc. Fast enough that I don't think we really need to worry about timing. Huh. 
Needs to get more dice, more cost. And Samara City. Have more dice than cards in your hand. I think Samara City would be good here. And what else? I. Kuzurai is always good, and then probably the Paimon one. And. Oh, but also these. So what do I want to switch out then? What would I want to switch out? Hmm. Hard to say, hard to say. Undersea treasure could be useful. Also useful. Just. Just that. We'll go with something like this. Do I want the Paimon or. Taramaru Enraged? I. Taramaru is not amazing then. We'll try that out. See if it works. I am more than a little worried, but. We'll see what happens. Well, might not be the first time that I've had to actively look up a deck to use. Whatever. Ha ha ha. Let's do this. Or drums tamper. Getting in black. Try this garbage out and see what happens. I ha. Huh. But I probably want this on Kui instead. Hmm, stuff I can use is. Oh, that would just create more. That's crazy. Two us elemental dice and draw one card. Alright then. Big thing is getting that first thing. So the more souls we put down, the better. Maybe. Hmm. And of course it costs two more. Mysterious Enervation. Done on you. Then we can play Legend of Vanessa. Thank you. Cool. And then just stuff that costs dice versus... Well, that's free. It's literally free. Cool. I still might like to use some of this, but that's... Crazy, actually. Hmm. I think that's good. Maybe switching out to someone else. Reactions are going to be the crazy. Oh, we've got more time for this, which is good. Ha. Huh. Now I would need. I need five, too. Some of tuning would be good, but. Hmm. I will. Keep that in mind. Tuning for one big hit. Which the War Master. Cool. Charlotte might not be all that good for this though. Oh, two more elemental dice. So that was narrow and dangerous. Okay. Well, alright then. Hmm. It's pretty good. Pretty decent. Are cards to help us out, but the damage we deal might be the issue. Big thing is using deal Luke for some of that is going to help me significantly. Let's hope that we got lucky enough to win. Hmm. That's good and all, but let's play a couple of these. This is good, first of all. That. Hmm. That on deal Luke. And then, maybe, well. We'll see. That on him and use a skill. That on you again. Oh, and right, we got that, which is good. Cool. Which the clear water and well, some people are in danger of death right now. Let's use this. Agile and nice. Okay. Five! Big damage! And then... Costs a bit more to use this, but... Mm, and we can't use the burst this round. That's the thing. Well, even if we use Star Sight and Ride, it costs three. That's the thing. Then actually... Oh, but we could use it first thing next round, and then... Or not. Or not. Which is, that's not that useful. That's a thing. 
This is a good deal more useful. Big thing is, I'm sure that I could insta-kill that one Frost Aramite with a single deal with Burst. So I'm going to try to do that. Start using some funky little cards. The more the better. Pray we get stuff that we can transpose, so to speak. Mm, next round might have to be it. Lashes and... Pair for one turn, then fixed pattern and... Ooh, that's dangerous. First strike. I'm worried. Actually a bit worried. Because that would kill. Huh. Well, hold on. Then is that... I guess I could put that on her. Maybe. I do worry a little. Vanguard, six undersea treasure. Put them in your deck at random. That's free. I guess I may as well do that. Then what are we going to get? We got... I... Oh, that's vile. It's actually vile. We kill. Yeah. Nice. Thank you! Charlotte Plunge. That was kind of insane. Okay. Mm, and death is close. And finish acting. Okay. Have to do a bit of switching, but that will actually just one tap. That's worth using. I oh, we're gonna have to cash in. Seriously, cash in. The Ness is gonna be useful, but yeah, here we are. Thank you for that. Epic deal with moment. Oh. All right, there we go. And oh, the parametric transform will trigger next round. There we go. Dealt a bit of extra damage because it was the last one. So now we just gotta hope we survive here. I think we can. I think we can kill. Do a bit of damage to us and we can just beat you up. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. That's almost dead. Just play this anyway, just for fun. And to add insult to injury, let's just use this. For free, basically for free. Now being able to play dice generating cards for free really, really helps here. Well, we could do that or we could do this. So we've got, we got 15 dice. It's ridiculous. I guess it makes sense, because I, I thought there would have been a smaller limit, but it just keeps shrinking then if you get more and more. That makes more sense, but it's still kind of saddening. Let's be funny. Let's turn all the Omni dice and draw more cards. My goodness. Let's see how many dice we can get. Sixteen. Seventeen. Oh, it seems there's a hard limit of 16 dice at any given time. It's never really been relevant to me, but we've hit the dice limit. We've hit the dice limit. Incredible. Okay, cool. So there's only one more challenge other than the last really annoying one, which I am going to have to get help with. But that's... Normal, for better or worse. Yeah, we... Hmm. Assault tactics, and... Takes damage, and yeah, this is just... You just use Rathesley for this. Okay, cool. And my card shop's commodities. Skins left are Rathesley, Furina, Yunjin, and Kave. And three of those people are the team I'm going to be using here. Cool. Just check, and... Yeah, that's just, you use Rathesley and Furina. Yeah, and it's just active character takes damage, active character 1 HP, and it's literally unlimited, so you just... Yeah. Yeah. Alright then. 
Let's make a new funny Fiorina deck. And how many rounds? Okay, four rounds. That's good. This was three. And this is three, too. It's kind of the craziest part. But that is part of what they did to make it the hardest, presumably, so... Unpleasantly normal. Okay. Let's check out our deck real quick. And... I'm gonna just get rid of this. This was a funny one. Just... Getting those... Cryo apps off for slow ticking damage and then just... Rocking big melts. And then to be fair, the melts didn't add all that much damage. I think I still would have killed the burst one way or another. Big thing is that if I waited to use the burst or something, I could have killed, could have one shot the Scorching War Master, aka Fake Babble. Generic version of Babble. And then. So what to use? What to use? I am going to. Well, okay. Yunjin, Furina, Rathesli, this should be fine. Come on, come on, give me what I want, give me what I want. Fiorina, Wafazwi. Sorry. That is penalty, deal plus one damage, damage or is healed. Yeah, that. It's actually ridiculous. That will snowball incredibly quickly. This, uh, don't need that. Center of attention, we're not gonna have her be on field. This could be useful. Maybe. I think it might just be Soul of Repensley or something. Maybe. Lenoid Element deals plus one damage, and... I just need to know more about how Furina works. Rissal Revelry, Salon Members, and Sinker of Many Waters. That... That is useful. I'd like that. Just have Fiorina on there and to support Universal Revelry. Then maybe if we're lucky, we can get that started or something. Hmm. Seats, sacred and secular. We could also maybe try... Cashflow Supervision is cheap enough that I would like to have it on her. I mean, on Rithesley, but... March I'll say would be almost crucial for this, too. This one, Wake Light Point, heals the equipping character, but no, no, no. She's not going to be on field. We want is the Marshal Say. Or dice, maybe. An elemental die, draw one card, and damage or is healed. The question is the card draw. What do I want from card draw, though? Tenshikaku is always nice. I don't think Chinju will be all that relevant, though, but... Discarding or tuning... That's good. Parametric would be really good. This is always useful. So what else? Star Sign's also not all that useful. I... Maybe just... Food for healing? More than smoked chicken or a sweet madame, sweet madame maybe. Some low cost is good. Minty meat rolls might be crucial too. Mint rolled around meat or meat rolled around mint? Could be mint put inside meat? Maybe. That could be good, but also. Hmm. That is also useful. Maybe I might even want Chef Mao. That said, I don't think this one will be as hard as the fourth. Troublesome. Oh, oh, you... I beat the second challenge using a Diluc, Charlotte, Kui team. Kui didn't even come on field. The big thing is that I used a bunch of cards that... Like Legend of Vanessa or... Because the big deal is that the special buff you get and debuff you get is... Every skill costs two more elemental dice. As in not any kind of dice, but specifically their element. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're going for. Gotta go for it. And then, also... But, the first three action cards you play for round cost two less. Two less dice of any kind, and have you draw one more card. So I used a lot of cards, like the Paimon card, like Legend of Vanessa, to just get more and more dice. Worked pretty well. Also, it was really funny, because at one point, I almost... It almost didn't work. But, Charlotte was about to die. 
Where were we? Someone was about to die, probably. Because an enemy was about to use a burst, and I didn't have a safe switch. But I just played Plunging Strike and got just an immediate Charlotte plunge attack to kill the enemy who was about to burst. Well, sort of mid-burst. About to deal damage. The question is... What do I use on this? That would be good, too. Timmy would be mid here. Uh, hmm. Shukaku is good. I was trying to think. What else? Yeah, exactly. Call an ambulance, but not for me. <sighs> Treasure seeking? No, but I don't really need cards. I fear it could be okay, but it's probably just going to be plain old Rathasli, which means. Excuse me. Probably just the two kinds of resonance. Most likely. That's gotta go. Put in just some random cryo character. I do not care. Chong Yu could maybe be okay, but it's probably going to be Furina. What if I... Let's go for that cryo resonance now and... I need to figure out more specifically the ins and outs of Furina's kit, because I'm not as familiar as I'd like to be. Okay, Usia. Universal Revelry. One stack of Revelry. Plus one damage, including scroll damage. And yeah, Rathesli plus... That's gonna be nasty. It's gonna be actually nasty. Hmm. No stack limit! No stack limit. Okay. As one does. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder about this one. The big thing is that Rathesley is definitely made to be a Furina abuser specifically. In TCG at least. So we'll see how this works. Okay. Actually, let me see. Ford World's Temper. Go for the Assault Tactics. Oh, but also, also... I'd be able to get rid of a lot of them using Usia stuff. Some of them, at least. I want to see what's... What are their descriptions? Petrol Muse of Shansun and Rondolo. Passes by in peace. Right, he doesn't like heat. Guilty waters run deep. Very short descriptions. Well, whatever. Let's go for it. Try this out and see. I... Ah, this is a good one. These are all pretty good, but... Hmm. Gonna be tough. I need to figure out how to... Get him going. Basically to try to use. If you're in a burst as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Might like to... Summons versus summons members. Okay, cool. Change the state if you're in and her summons. Guess who's in Numa mode? Okay, cool. Battle begins. Wait, battle begins? Does that mean per turn, or do you just get one of those so you can turn her Numa once and then. That might be a bit annoying, frankly. Well, whatever. Oh, once per round, create one seat sacred and secular in your hand. Okay, let's do that. Switch to somebody, maybe. Multi smash. Okay, cool. And we use that, which, well, did not do much. Go for the ram, and alright. Thank you for that. Hmm. Use this. Prep for next round, and. Freedom will die, which should actually let me get her in easier. Kinda sad, but that's life. Okay, cool. Put some artifacts on somebody, maybe. Hmm, okay. Well, alright. Let's see how well this works. Hmm. Alright then. Presumably death will reach us. Maybe. We need a bit of hydro for the Furina burst. Besides that, the question is... This thing is I can use some of that for tuning. First thing is, we just got a burst. Thank you, cool. Oh, right, and that does do a little bit of damage, so go ahead, kill me. Go ahead, kill me. 
Okay. Thank you. How do we want to? Huh. I. I'll basically get the cost back if I eat Poi Chef now. Should help and maybe want me to use it next round too. I. Mm, only a sweet madame. Well, whatever. I'll live. So in that case, let's use this. This will fist. Yeah, okay, cool. And then we got that going. What's next? What's next? Oh, but I I didn't use the rush. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's some trouble. I hmm. Well, alright, a bit was wasted, but I think this team is gonna have to be it, so to speak. After what the Thesley just absolutely flash. Ideally. Maybe. Singer's nice. We got her fanfare up too, so. To use. Yeah, if I had used Wolfbite before, I might have been in a slightly better position. Not quite sure. I might have to do a bit of healing on him. The big thing is, we're not gonna get. Yeah, because it would be a free die. Well, I. Ooh, that's actually good. It's actually very good. Let's put this down and try to. Oh, but I wasted that other food. Huh. Well, I... Alright. Hopefully we can make this work. Presumably I can. Big issue is that I don't have Marsha Say. That's the real thing. Chilling penalty and shield repost and... Cool. Let's punch. Punch. Take that, take that. And we are more or less alright. Accumulate that fanfare. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Nice. And then, got a bit more healing and we got... Wait, we didn't get that? Excuse me? Oh, well, we actually... Okay. But wait, what? Did I... Huh? Two times in the round, reduced by up to two. Revelry is... Huh? It's just one. No stack limit. Stack. Wait, what? Universal Revelry. One stack of Revelry. I. Wait. Oh, is that. I don't think that's as good as I thought it would be. In that it's just plus one damage. Okay, so it doesn't snowball like I thought it might. Whatever. One penalty point. Okay, cool. Up close pummeling. Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. This may not be what I expected or wanted. Go ahead and big damage. And did that stop you? It did not stop you, huh? Did it? Well, whatever. Hmm. I may be in a bad position. Let's do a bit of switching. Don't need Furina anymore, do we? We don't. Put that on you, and then use another big hit. Cool. Alright then, we can see how well this goes. A little worrying. Okay, cool. Uh, Alright. I already ate food. Let's just see how well this goes. <sighs> okay. Yeah, using Yoon Jin probably would have been a better idea. Honestly, if we had just gotten Marshall Say, it might have been even better. Well, whatever. I think we might be okay in the end. Probably not, though. I. Not getting Marshall Say at the start is definitely one of the fumbles of the game. Okay, cool. Hajime <laughs> Go ahead, hit me, and- wait, what? What? Huh? Well, I- interesting. Honestly, it's gonna have to be Yunjin for this. Not Furina, but Yunjin. Especially since... The stack's accumulated. I... 
I'm tired of this. I'm looking at a guide. So they use Charlotte, Nuvia, and Fiorina. Okay, cool. Let's make that deck. Actually, I... I'm gonna take a brief break from TCG and use this. Yeah. That's just a little bit more... Couple more runs of domain. Hmm. Alright. Run a domain a couple of times to clear my head. Yeah, because I need that. I need that. Let's make a few more. Let's just see how much how many teachings of order I've got. Let's check and this is how much I need to leave behind in order to automatically upgrade. And then... Five and... Yeah, we're getting close to the goal I need for... Order books. That's good. Need eight more of the gold ones, so we should be okay. Let's make two of these. We should be able to make one more. By the end of the day... Oh, I think you missed it, but I actually got... Cutching C3 off standard... Which, Kaching does not have particularly strong constellations, but it was still nice. Yeah, yeah. Closer and closer to C6, which is also not going to be much, but at least something. Her C4 actually is pretty decent. Big thing is that I'm largely building her EM. Well, to an extent at least, which means that it gives her more attack, which... Let me check. I don't remember whether she has attack or EM sands. I think she might have. Yeah, she does have EM sands, so the C4 bonus to attack would be useful, especially since a Dendro team can allow her to, you know, more reliably have that up. It's still probably not going to be as good as Clorinde, but especially since this C6 is actually kind of weak sauce. I hope that if we get yeah, this is good. If we get A7 passives or something, that Cutchings ends up being good. It's for a character that relevant and important to the storyline, she really does not have everything you might want, so to speak. It is what it is. Thanks, thanks. Cool. Cool, and nice, take you out, and we got that done. Let's run this one more time, and then go back to TCG and pray. And pray. <laughs> How to order. Teachings of order. It was a tough abyss. In the end, it worked out when I put Furia and Nubia back in, which, well, you know, it's life. It's more normal than I might like or expect, but, you know. I'm literally just using Sethos, so. I try to apply Electro, but the camera angle is actually a little more annoying than I might like, so it's not working as well as I would want it to. It is what it is. And the fact that she can heal herself like this, but oh, whatever. Okay, cool. So another run. I may as well just craft a bit just to make sure, but that's live. Hmm, guide to order, and we won't be able to get all the way to 66, which is... In order to get a character all the way to 999 talents, because 10 10 10 is kind of the fool's fig leaf, so to speak, it. I wish he was good. It. You need 9 of the bronze ones, well, 9 of the brown ones, 63 of the silver ones, and 66 of the golden ones. I guess, you know, is it bronze, silver, and gold, or brown, gray, and yellow? Exercise left to the player, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. Come on, come on. And we need to leave 21, basically. So this... How much do we have? We've got 62. So only four more golden philosophy books and we'll be where we need to be. So let's try this again. Try this one more time. Hope. Hope that after I copy somebody else's deck, I can survive and i wait sunlight gauntlet that's already done four drums temper reward list 
Yeah, nothing. Let me see. So all we gotta do is go on the Inven, the good old Inven, and switch out my casket of tomes. And switch out the deck, get rid of this one. It was a good effort, but Furina was not as busted as I expected her to be. This is a Charlotte Nuviet Furina team. Charlotte Nuvieto Furina. Okay. Honestly, when you try to speak Japanese with the syllables they use, you end up sounding more like. kind of end up like your. kind of sounds like a Spanish accent. I won't even lie. It's not a bad thing, just an observation. I mean, I used to speak Spanish. Well, I mean, I still kind of do, but I used to know Spanish a lot better. Oh, so that would. Uh, using Charlotte to trigger more reactions by having her cloud go on at the end. This seems like it's going to be a bit luck based because there's only one of a lot of important cards. Oh, Gamblers! I keep keep forgetting about how good Gamblers is for stuff like this. Okay. Hmm. Guess the question is what the game plan is for this. And oh, I also keep forgetting about Golden House. Okay. Frankly, a lot of things here that I keep. There are just so many cards in the game now. And unlike... Unlike the Abyss, can't really always reliably count on things being sort of meta based on how new they are, actually. It is fun, but... I do kind of get blindsided sometimes. Oh, healing, healing. It's not that distributes the healing. Oh, but you can use this to get a bunch of fanfare stacks going by distributing their HP. So it actually works really, really well with Furina. I didn't even think about that. That's a genius. So the Kokomi, Noel card, and two of the Vanessa cards. And then, this is a really interesting deck. Rhythm of the Great Dream, to spend less on artifacts and such, and then Undersea Treasure and then Minty Meat Rolls. Okay. Hmm. Two of the Minty Meat Rolls. Honestly, could have made that deck I used before could have maybe worked if I'd known better about how Fiorina actually functioned. Unfortunately, I thought Fanfare just was a permanent buff that scaled up to plus 12 damage if you really ramped it, which... Would have made Rathesley really busted, and I would not have hated that, but unfortunately, that is not the case. Okay, cool. Let's just run that deck against this one, and... But that takes some time. What do you start with? What kind of starting deck do you want? Starting hand do you want to have? Go with Asda, and you actually don't need all that much. The thing is, the game plan is presumably to get Furina up as soon as possible. Furina and... Let's see. What is their game plan like? It's Furina's normal. Furina's normal twice? Yeah, you just use Furina normal twice to get your burst up as soon as possible. Interesting. And yeah, okay. Then you hope and pray that you can use other stuff as soon as possible. Furina, Usia, and wait, what? Switch to, she switched to, switch to Numa, and you put Charlotte down, use hmm, some of the Hydro. Wait, did they even do anything? They used Cool Color Capture, and that was about it. And then, we didn't really get the fanfare back, but sent in Legend of Vanessa, and then they just had Nuvia just... Blastle. Oh, the idea was to just neutralize all their RK, and then then you just spam new Viet stuff. That makes some sense. It's not even all that complicated. Okay, cool. Now I see. Now I see. Okay, cool. So that's why they did it the way they did it. Let's go for this. Polly? Because I'm being abnormally... Optimistic, maybe? Is that it? Mm -hmm. Spelled P O L L Y A N N A, by the way. Pollyanna. 
Unless that wasn't what you were talking about, in which case I'm just stupid, so... Maybe I am. Well, I'm always a little bit stupid, but hopefully it's usually charming. I Wait, what? That was bad. That was actually quite bad. Well, actually, we can use this to tune, which is good. We do your zone, put down Libin, and get a... Uh, we don't want to put another Libin down, is the thing. Okay, hmm. Well, I... Alright. Gonna switch. Use that again, and okay, cool. Thank you! Alright. So that's why they did what they did. Numa could be useful here. Maybe. Just in case, but we are using the cool color capture, I think. Then we switch over and use Universal Ravelry as soon as possible. Yeah, but neutralizing their Arca is going to be useful. Mm -mm. Right, and let's try to... Maybe I should have kept that card because, well... Gonna have to do a lot of tuning like this. Don't like that. Oh, but you're... well... Oh, we ended so we could switch and... We already messed that up. Let's try that again. So you end on Fiorina, so you can put in... Cool Color Capture. Okay. I think that's what's going on. I hope that's what's going on. Yeah, I may be in a silly situation, but... Hmm. Fiorina Normals. Fiorina Normals. Okay, that's actually good. It... It's gonna be a bit scuffed, but... See what happens. Junior's not as nice. I want this one first, actually. Hmm. Vanessa in hand is good. That's good. Lucky we can get something else, but we'll see. Then they just switch to the cool color capture, I think. Yep, I'm gonna have to end my round here without changing anything out. Alright then. Mm hmm. If you do not have Seat Sacred and Seko in your hand. Which. It is interesting how they're kind of being very cagey about what Numa and Usia actually are. So it seems somewhat self evident that they're basically imaginary and quantum from general Hoyo stuff, but. Okay, now we switch. Yeah. Already been rammed, so now we switch over. Cool. She's at Kazuko Hodo. Shinzutsu Nimamasu. Use this. Take you out. Switch over. Yeah, okay. It's the end of their round, so now we put in Purina. Don't need that anymore, now do I? Just use this. Underwater treasure might. Uh, that. I don't think that can stack, though. That's the thing. Which means now we use... Oh, we needed more dice. Oh. 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 Hmm. Well, that's something. Maybe I'll do that, then, and cry a little. Yeah. Okay. Let's just see. Now that gone. Now you use. They did not just use for universe then. Must have got some more dice somehow. Oh, if I'd played Legend of Vanessa, I could have made it work. Well, whatever. I'm just gonna hope that this works anyway. With my luck, it won't, but. Huh. Ooh, yeah, go ahead. Kill me. Maybe. I. Hmm. One basic elemental die. Oh, that's good. And give me hydro. No. Okay. What do I want to use? I... Huh. Different types. The only thing I can use that on right now is... A hydro dice, and I don't like that. Let's use that on that there. Cool. Give me more hydro... Okay, whatever. Okay. Cool! Alright. Alright, then. I will try.
try harder. Okay. Yorokonde. What are you doing now? Offensive shield strike ends. Okay, cool. Then I guess we try to let Nuvia just sweep the end of game. Maybe. I really don't know. Who do I even... The dice is... She was the dice. Only when you have zero left, but... Don't have enough to... I could try that, but... The meat rolls are the problem, and... There we go, and... Okay, that actually was not much fanfare, because it only counts per instance. And that sucked. It was really, really stupid. Well... Well, okay. Try that garbage again. I just... I don't know if the issue is that this team is not all that suited for it. Or something else, but I'm... I'm in a state. And we've got some stuff going, but... <sighs> Fanfare is actually not all that meaningfully effective. That's the thing. We got that, we got some of this, but... I really just... Don't have any weapons, we don't have any... This does feel like a very luck-based mission. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Cool. This works, then I'm. That's how I'm gonna have to do it. Cool. Hmm. But I don't have any kind of weapon. If I had his talent, or if I had Eon Wave, I would be in a good position. But I don't, and I don't. And I didn't use any weapons in that anyway. But eventually they got that buff. But I don't think it was all that important. Well, whatever. I it would have been really, really nice to be able to save the minty meat rolls for this round, but it was not meant to be. It. This is definitely a get lucky kind of one. Hmm. All right, all right. That Azda. That Azda one is literally. You can only make use of it if you've gotten the meat rolls up. That would have been nice, but we're just... We didn't have the sauce this time, which sucks. It really, really sucks. Okay. That's good. Probably. Well, alright. Okay. Uh, Rhythm of the Grey Dream would be really nice to have then, but, well, whatever. I want to save stuff and use his weapon. It's an idea. I... It might actually be a better idea to use the weapon now. Just get it on him. Use one fear in a normal to take some of you out and then... Oh, the problem is death. The problem is death. Mm -hmm. At least we won't switch is the thing. And Oh, that's a waste to die. That sucks. Okay, cool. Gonna hit me and you're gonna hit me hard. And I'm gonna try this garbage all over again. It's just two turns of setup, two turns of letting Nuvia just wreck face, ideally, but... It's really kind of a who knows kind of thing. Don't like that. Okay, I hmm. should work actually. Zoom away. Question is, what would be the best use of the cards I have? If I played Vanessa's now, get nine. Which question is, what would that meaningfully enable? Probably nothing. Get me to nine, which I'm already only going for two quick attacks here. I, yeah, it wouldn't meaningfully help me, I don't think. Okay. Switch over, and then I guess we switch back into Furina. Put this down and switch back into Furina. It could work, possibly. Put that on you. Switch back into Furina. 
Hopefully this is what I need. I... I hope. And in the round, we send in Furina. Got a weapon on Nuviet, which would actually be very, very useful, I hope. Also got multiple Legends of Vanessa, which could also be very good. Depends on how much of the same type I've got. That is useful. Hmm. Have to do some switching, but this should actually be good for us in the long run. But I... Hmm. Yeah, tough. That's tough. The more dice we get, the better. It's got to get more dice, but actually, Paimon, Paimon could be good too, is the thing. I, hmm. That's investments for the next, the final round, which could be important. I, hmm. Put in Paimon. Do a bit more switching. Maybe put in Legend of Vanessa. I, that's the question. What would I meaningfully be able to do that I would not otherwise be able to? I... Hmm. It's... We have to make sure that we get the Clutch Meat Rolls this round, otherwise... Nothing is going to be possible. I... Hmm. Alright. Put this down, and that will enable important things, but... Yeah, alright. You're gonna have to change some other things over, but... Oh, no, that required four. That's right. I'm actually an idiot. Huh. Well, then, I... I'm really in for it now. Hmm, okay. Alright. Alright, then. Okay. Okay. Ah, ah, I hate this. I kind of hate this. Okay. Just give me... Okay. Please. Actually begging. This one might not be... God. Damn. Okay. It's legitimately terrible. It... The two minty meat rolls and none of them even... Well, in the end, this is a luck-based game, a luck-based mission. I, I'm i gonna die here. It's the really annoying thing. It's just, it's the end of New VS. This is actually stupid garbage. Oh my goodness. You have to have Numa and Usi and you just have to get really, really lucky with actual card draws that give you stuff. And we didn't get lucky enough. That, that was incredibly unpleasant. I, we could try another. Uh, I, when I do the event, no, I'll just do it next Monday. I, whatever. I'm just going to review how other people have beaten those, beaten those and copy what they did, but. I just, it feels harder. Not in the sense of you need a more specific team comp, but just... There's more that gets in your way. You need more luck. You need a specific team comp, and then you need luck on top of that, and it just... Yeah. It's exceptionally unpleasant. Two... About two minutes before that recharges, so... Oh, that's right, I do need to get... Do you still have the request and bounties today? That's right. To wrap that up real quick, I almost forgot. Yeah. Oh, right, I never give Sethos his wings. What was his faith? Switch and... Do you have... Sword of Honor, Fragile Indeed, Ultimate Guarantor. Okay, cool. Honestly, they don't look all that great on them. Whatever. Okay. Let's just see. Yep, yep, yep. Haven't done that yet. After Resicrease, yep, it's Corindon. So yeah, the raw meat. Armored Crab. Clockwork Mecha. Yeah. Cool. 
Raw meat request. As one does. There should still be more than enough to take them down. Tainted water sporting phantasm. Okay. Alright then. Cool, and just thanks. Thank you out. Use this and presumably actually this should be... Yeah, more than enough already. That was child's play. Cool. Probably didn't even need to use that burst, but whatever. Just clear that up, run the domain one more time, and that'll be all. I TCG really just pounded me into the dirt today. I'm actually ashamed of myself. You know, Abyss, I eventually beat Abyss, but I had to basically just say, you know, TCG got hands. Oh, but this would actually be an opportunity to show off how Shavros is going to work with the new artifact set that I finally leveled for her. So actually, yep, and it's just right here. So, Yai needs... The big thing is that Yai, I actually need to get her a Golden Troop set. It's Thunder Soother is not actually all that good on this team. It's usable, but... Golden Troop is better. It doesn't even have aura up all that often. The big thing about Thunder Soother is that it does increase the damage of her burst, which is a decent source of her damage, especially on aggravate teams. Though to be fair, this is not a dendro team. We're not proccing aggravates, and she's not really proccing reactions either. But it... Especially since the set is an EM set. That in this team, the way I do the rotation... Yai generally isn't using her burst because she's going to run out of... Her turrets will start disappearing before the rotation's are over, so... It is what it is, but... Thanks, thanks, and... Just shoot, get that off, and cool. One, two, three, four, and yeah, it's... It only needed a single rotation. That team still is and just remains utterly ridiculous. I'd say it's probably my strongest pure team, because it is... I do have a couple of limited 5-star cons, because I've got standard banner 5-star cons, but most of those just are never relevant. But I might... I have Ganyu C1, I have Hu Tao C1, neither of whom I really use, but I do have, I did roll for Arokino's side, really just for the drip. And Numa, so... That... I'll run the Corind team again. Okay. But I just... The degree of pain and suffering inflicted upon me by TCG today and just... I didn't win a single player match. It... I expected to win at least one. I expected to go at worst one for three. But I just... I needed to know more about the cards. I just was not prepared as much as I should have been. And I embarrassed myself. I've shamed the good name of everyone here. Oh well. I'll live. You know, maybe other people won't, but I will, so. You know, you have to take the small victories. The selfish victories. The cruel victories. Okay. Got that. We can collect that bounty. Do my request real quick. Run the domain one more time. Not much left, just wrapping up. That really is life sometimes. Just pain and suffering on planet Earth. Pain and suffering on planet Earth. That is one of my less used, but more favorite catchphrases. It's one of the funnier ones in my opinion. The big question is actually at the moment. I had to up I had to upload the Demon Souls VOD in parts. The second one, because it was over 12 hours and YouTube will not let you it will give up on processing a video that is over 12 hours. Which means, and the other was... No, that's just enemies. So the question is, given that they were both part of the same stream, do I publish them both on the same day? Just with them... Oh, right, she doesn't need salt. It's the guy below who needs raw meat. Okay. Don't fall. Okay. Well, you're gonna fall. Don't die when you do fall. 
Just so on Monday, the only things I'd be doing would be weeklies, dailies, the TCG stuff, and maybe just poking around the northern area of Samira they added, and Petricor. It's not much left, really. Uh, uh, uh. Finally cook something nice this time. Okay. Go over here. Yeah. So I do gotta do a bit of Emily pre-farming too. Well, I am already doing that. Don't want to say too much about that so the Mahoyo ninjas don't eat my soul, but... Okay. Two crabs and then Max and then... Silly Domain with the Breacher Premises one more time. I like the Breacher Premises a lot. They're a bit gimmicky, but I really love whenever they make, you know, fully abyssal enemies. It doesn't happen nearly as much as I might like. And one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and... Wow, okay. Cool. Actually got a good amount of energy from that, too. Not enough for a burst use, but close. Go over here again, West Slopes of Mount Otomneki. Which basically means Autumn Equinox, actually. I thought it meant something like Automaton, but actually it means Autumn Equinox. A lot of the areas in the game are based off of certain seasons. Liwei was the most obviously autumnal. But I think Fontaine is sort of late summer, early autumn, because you can see some trees that are changing. It's interesting. Hello, Sethos. And just go over here. And, ooh, goodness. I don't need to use that. Do I? No, I don't. Thanks. Wow. Alright. So, one more domain run. Probably crafting some things through, and we will be done for the day. A good deal less was accomplished than I expected. I. This is good for reaching my time goal. But it's not good in terms of actually staying caught up on things. That's life. Let's craft this, and yeah. Big thing is that I'm hovering around probably 28, 29 hours out of 30. So tomorrow would get me basically right over the comp and hard to have a cake and eat one. Well, you know, especially since I don't particularly like eating cake. It would be hard for me to have a cake and eat one, because it would be hard for me to eat a cake. It would be hard for me to eat a cake to begin with. The only thing I like doing is eating fresh fruit, apple, cinnamon, oatmeal, muffins, and frying rice and ending up using too much oil. Oh, of course not. It was a joke. You know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, as they say. So what I'm trying to say is that you're a bird. And, thank you, thank you, and heal up, and we are already basically at full. Wow. Hmm. What I'm trying to say is that you're a bird. You're a bird who lives in water. I said, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Which means you're a goose. Which means you're a bird who lives on the surface of a lake. I wonder how that is for you. Hope it's pleasant. You know, as, as long as you're not a Canada Goose, I think we can get along. Other geese are pretty pleasant, but, you know, no one likes Canada Geese. You know, back in college, the dorm I was in was actually pretty far away from the main campus itself. It was closer to other colleges. And there were a lot of people, frankly myself included, who were just always subconsciously hoping. And we would talk about this, you know. I hope that a goose just gets too close. She tries to aggress on me, so I have an excuse to just absolutely throw hands with a goose. Because we hated those things. We despised those things. They were aggressive, they were mean. They were always just covering the walkway back to call back to the campus from our dorm with fecal matter. It just I think the only two animals that you can make a case for being you know, actually aware of what evil is and voluntarily deciding to commit evil would be chimpanzees and certain kinds of geese. Other than that, they're just basically innocent babies. A peacock. Well, if I ever if I ever meet an evil peacock, I'll vanquish it and tell you. And on that note, Sanaragon, see you tomorrow two different times. Funky stuff. See ya.